I vote yes. I don't think this is a voting type situation. I mean, it does kind of belong to all of us. Or it was supposed to. It does. You did a great job. So, what do you say, Fang?
Hey, Sib, are you playing the guitar right now? Ugh. If you'd been, like, a minute earlier, I... Seriously? Why aren't you getting ready for school? I'm getting ready for life. Very funny. Me too, by the way. Not all of us can coast on our talent. Some of us actually have to go to school. How are you always ready so fast? Pack your bag the night before. It's basic time management. Okay. Well, I can't give you a ride now. We still have time. Not me. Class president, remember? First meeting of the year. Oh, great. Does this mean there's an assembly today? Tomorrow. And thanks for your support. I voted for the other guy. So did everyone else. It's all rigged. Okay, I'm leaving. There's some breakfast for you downstairs. Have a good day. Best year ever. Your hair, it's silver. And your makeup, oh, wow. When did this happen? Are we all getting makeovers now? Makeover? Not really, I, I don't know, I just, I felt like doing something different. It's not a big deal. Just wanted to, like, set a new tone for the year, I guess. I wore the same worm drama hoodie for like all six weeks of T.S. and I. Very misleading shirt to wear around bug people, by the way. T.S. and I? Oh, yeah, duh. Tendril summer nature intensive. I was in the entomology section. So, bug camp? Pretty much. Dude, I have so much to tell you about it. So, what'd you do all summer? Worked on songs, mostly. I got some big band news this morning. Like, huge. Like every birthday you've ever had all at once. Wow, okay. That's a lot of cake. And I'm definitely listening. No, 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 no. We have to wait for a proper band meeting. We've got to have Reed. Wow, okay. Not cool, dude. <laughs> so, can I tell you my news, though? Obviously. Meet Bingo! Oh, what a cute creature. I know, right? She's my new pet slash precious baby angel. She's an anacophora, a velvet worm. She's the sweetest. They're super rare. Rosa and I found her because we were out planting the special kind of moss they need for their habitat. Rosa? From second grade science class? 
Oh my god, her paper mache volcano. Dude, I think Mr. Perea quit after that. No, but Rosa is super cool, actually. She was at camp with me, and she knows, like, basically everything about plants. Like, did you know that certain bug species need certain plants not to eat, but so they can reproduce? And they hold their eggs in, like, a sack inside their bodies for months and months and months, and they'll only lay them on this one plant, and then... <laughs> so, you wouldn't think it, but if just one plant goes away, so do tons of really important bugs. Like Mango. She needs this super special moss we were looking for. Usually these little guys hide all day, but because there isn't enough moss anymore, she was just huddled up in a little termite tunnel all alone, and it was so sad. And now she's mine, and I love her the most forever. Check out this video of her slime attack. It smells so bad you want to die. Slime attack. Good song title. Why'd you call her Mango? Uh, very funny. Like, isn't it obvious? So, you really like my hair? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Like you're a super hot assassin or like a powerful witch goddess. Hell yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was going for more of a... Dude, tell me that's not terrifying. Jeez. Anyways, I was going f I was going for more of a- Seriously? I guess that still means it's time for class. And a new bell. I mean, hello? Ugh. I've got Roberts for homeroom. Oof, not me. I think Reed does, though. Hey, best year ever? Guaranteed. I agree. Band meeting at lunch in the music room? I'll be there. Ugh, oh, I missed you. I missed you too. Bro? Buddy? Old sport? Old chum? Reed, I have big band news. Ooh, what is it? You're not gonna believe it. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Hey, what's up? Check out my new quests. Quests? Yeah, I'm gonna have to prepare some fire spells. Yeah, you bet you are. What just happened? Hey, Reed! Is there some special circumstance preventing the two of you from taking your seats with the rest of the class so that we may all begin? So, welcome back, seniors. Mm-hmm. Believe me when I say that this year will fly by, and you will find yourselves wishing you'd taken more time to prepare. As loathsome as high school may seem to you now, you are all still in the nest, so to speak. and you will be pushed out to fly, or falter, in exactly nine months. My job is to make sure you don't plummet to an early demise on your first foray into reality. Is that clear? Way too clear. Excellent. Reed, why don't you start us off then? Tell us your plans for after graduation and I'll give you your first flying lesson, so to speak. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, my brother's been doing pretty all right making his deliveries these days. 
So I figure there's always going to be a need for that. And I'd still have time to practice the drums, you know? Smart. A steady industry that builds on existing skills and lets you pursue hobbies. Who's next? Come on, what the hell? Fang! You should know by now not to text in my class, yes? Sorry, Ms. Roberts. It's just acting really weird. Hand it over, please. Whatever. It's not working anyway. Ugh. Mine's not working either. Same. Like totally dead. Anyone else care to update us on the fate of your emojis? Actually, my mom's transistor radio was picking up all sorts of interference this morning. It sounds like that's what happened with the bell, too. Which would also explain why no one can send texts all of a sudden. Oh, cool. Yeah, that sounds good. It's not good or bad, just unusual. Do feel free to enlighten us. Well, if it's affecting cell phones, it must be pretty high frequency. Oh. oh. But, you know, it reminds me. I've started looking at pre-med classes online. <laughs> because after graduation, I'm going to become a physician. What does that have to do with electromagnetism? What? Uh, nothing. I was just thinking of the sciences in general. What about you? Yes, Fang, since you have so much to say. Well, I'm going on tour with my band. Right after graduation. First step? Upgrading our equipment so we can melt everyone's brains. You're in a band. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, of course. What kind of portfolio do you have so far? Or, ah, uh, that's probably not the right word. Uh, we're kind of still cooking, you know? We've got some stuff in the works. Well, you still have several months to think of a viable career. Someone else? Oh, it's working again. Hey, do you have a minute? Yeah, sure, what's up? I just wanted to say sorry that I put you on the spot. I didn't realize you haven't really made a plan. I have a... Still, I think it's interesting that you want to play music. You never seemed like the kind of person who would go to university. Wow. Thank you. Yes, awesome. It is? Sorry, not you. I gotta go. We actually do play shows, you know? You should come see us sometime. We're about to blow up. Yeah, okay. See you. See, Velvet Worms actually have two separate slime exit points. They squirt out the streams at different speeds and angles, and get this, with rotation. So the slime streams cross mid-air and weave a slime net around their prey. A slime net, dude. Oh, that is gross. Awesome. Ooh, I might have to steal slime net for one of my L&L &L characters. Of course you will. I just got a new module. Of course you did. I ran into Naomi at the library over the summer. Now that's gross. She actually had some wild ideas that would totally work with the whole slime thing. Uh, really? Like what? Play and find out. Hey! 
You guys ready? For what? For Fang's face to fall off. What? No. Wait, what is going on with your face, though? Ms. Roberts' hangover. Ooh, yep, that's real. You disappoint me too much to even be disappointed. No, dude, you look all glowy, like, good. I got a new foundation. It has micro shimmer, is it too much? Nope, that's not it. You look happy. Because I am. Okay, band meeting officially started. You know the big Battle of the Bands coming up? Nope, never heard of it. Battle of the what? Wait, are we fighting someone? Ha ha. The Battle of the Bands that we thought we'd never get in? Cause I'm ready to punch. Yeah, you are. Oh my god. Focus. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, definitely. 100% super for real, ready. Yeah, but are you going to tell us, or...? We got an audition. We got an audition! For Battle of the Bands. Whoa. But wait, how? Did something bad happen to LJ? No. And, oh my god, don't even say that. No, she just liked our song. But LJ hates our songs. Like, all of them. She really does. Well, she likes this one. Which one? Did I write it? Ah, uh, feels like it's a read jam. It's new. I worked on it all summer, and I was feeling really good about it, so I took a video, and I sent it to her this morning, and, and she loved it. Worm Drama is gonna play Battle of the Bands! If we pass the audition. Wait. I mean, super cool, but what's the song? Well, like I said, I, I worked on it all summer. I missed you guys a lot, so I distracted myself and I focused on music. And I learned some cool stuff. I don't know, I just got really into practicing and thinking about the band and what we could be. This is our year, you know? This is our shot to start the lives we actually want instead of... So what's the new song like? Just let me play it. Whatever happens 
Well, obviously I'm messing it up, but you can imagine your parts. What do you think? It's... Wait, just just wait until you hear the whole thing. I, I need to warm up first. No, it was awesome. It's really different. Really different? Like, is it even warm drama? Hmm... I mean, it's us playing it, so of course it is. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like our stuff. Mm, yeah, it doesn't sound like Space Caverns or Gym Teacher Sex Dream. Those are so old. I wrote them when I was like 14. It's kind of cringy. Plus, LJ hated it. So? LJ's just one person. One pretty mean person. She's one person who is connected to everything music in this town. We've been trying to play Battle of the Bands for years. Whoever wins... Yeah, I hear ya. Get a spot at Caldera Fest where they pay you money to play music in front of a thousand people. Exactly. It's huge. We'd get real money to start the big tour. Can we really learn all new songs, though? I mean, Reed's got a point. And what if it's a setup? Every contest needs a loser. What we were playing wasn't working. LJ literally told me exactly that. And she's gotten what, like a dozen bands from this town signed? Real contracts? Real tours? True. Mm. And she's why everyone loves Swamp Babies. Which is like, ugh, thanks a lot. No one plays the same songs forever. Things change, or we all just rot. Well, hey, you got us our first real shot, right? Yeah. That's cool. When's the audition? Next weekend. What? Whoa. Oh my gosh. I haven't practiced all summer. Bug Camp did not like my guitar. Or actually, it did. Like, certain bugs liked it to, like, live inside of it. We can start practicing now. We have all weekend. We're all gonna play L&L this weekend. Who is? Everyone. Me, Rosa, Sage. Oh, Rosa can make it? Yeah. She just texted me. Sweet. Naomi's playing, too. You want in this time? Yeah. I'm intrigued. Ah, yes. I have a character all ready for you. A dark mage. Very cool. Wait, no, we didn't even get to practice. Uh, trust me, this is gonna be amazing. New songs, new shows. If we can do it in time, anyway. We'll go over everything next practice. When is good. I'm on babysitting duty again tonight. Yay. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah, oh, maybe. I gotta work with Rosa on our project tomorrow. Bugs are getting smaller and no one knows why. See ya. Hey, hey. Jeez, slow down. Your legs are too long. Hey. Wait. Don't you drive? Van's in the shop. Broken taillight, bumper, window, hood, steering wheel. Where's Trish? I think she had a project with Rosa. Ooh, abandoned. Left to walk with old armpits here. I'm absolutely heartbroken. Shattered. So you're serious about l and you're actually excited? I never took you for a fantasy dork. I'm not. But everybody's been hyping it up, and I know you're good at it. Gosh, shucks. You. I'm serious. 
Remember when you got me and Trish to believe Mr. Montoya was conducting spooky rituals in the school basement? Still not debunked. You had, like, this whole lore. A town-wide conspiracy. It was awesome. <laughs> well, if you liked that, you are going to love the campaign. Your character is basically like Spooky Montoya, but if he was hot and cool and had wings. Mr. Montoya does have wings. Well, whatever. I missed you, dude. Well, here's where we part ways. You're not taking the bus? I have mysterious places to be. Ominous. Plus, I think I see Sage and Stella coming over, and I'm hot off my last disastrous tarot reading slash cookie adventure. Also ominous. Enjoy. Have you seen Fang? Wait. Who is that? Do we know them? Um, I don't remember being friends with a gorgeous style icon. What? How dare you look so amazing in high school? Hey, thanks. Thanks for noticing. My eyes are literally drawn to you like magnets. I cannot. Here, have a cookie. I made them this morning. Wow, I really need this right now. Aw, oh, there's a secret ingredient. It's lavender. Or is it? Is it? So you spent summer getting an awesome makeover. Cool, what else? Catch us up. Well, Trish was at bug camp and Reed was off somewhere. So I mostly just like hung around and played music. Kind of lonely, but it was fun. And it got us an audition for Battle of the Bands. Um, what? Hello, fame, thy name is Fang? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Auditions next week. Oh, that's amazing. Congrats. You guys are gonna kill it. I know it. The cards told her so. Oh my god, stop. What about you guys? What'd you do? Try not to melt, mostly. Dressing cute is hard when it's hot as hell. You're saying this to, like, our gothest friend. Exactly. Fang knows what it's like to suffer for the aesthetic. But yeah, I was mostly an indoor boy this summer to beat the heat. And I baked a ton, so I got really good at it. Somehow I don't really get how baking helps you beat the heat. Like I'm saying. <laughs> Ugh, you guys suck. Cookie privilege is revoked. No, I take it back. Well, I spent the summer banking babysitting money and doing tarot for my mom's friends on their wine nights. Hey, want me to read your cards for you? Okay. Yeah. How do I... Uh, how does it work? Okay, so like, I'm gonna draw three cards from the tarot deck. There are a few different ways to do a reading, but for now, we're just gonna stick with choosing one card. When you choose your card, have a specific question or idea in mind that you want an answer for. Maybe just a direction, or like a sign of where the energy's at for you right now. Okay. Got it. Ready. Yay! Now pick a card. Ooh, judgment. Okay, we see you. What does it mean? Well, this card is telling you that you're kind of going to be at a crossroads. Like, where your whole path in life can change. Like a major choice is coming up. A judgment call, even. That's surprisingly literal. <laughs> yeah, don't get used to that. Basically, you're nearing a point of completion, but you have to make a choice to get there. And that'll be followed by a rebirth. Or like a new stage of being. So it's good. Oh, it's good. Like, judgment is about knowing you're in a moment where you can answer your calling, find your purpose, be who you want to be, all that really big life stuff. If you like, meet the moment. See, like that card sounds completely terrifying to me, but also now you know what's going to happen. It's not exactly about what's going to happen. It's just something to help you frame events or decisions in a new context. 
like a subconscious thing. You project your own meaning onto these things. I don't know your life, and neither do the cards. Mm. I'm pretty sure she says this stuff so she doesn't get hunted down and tried for witchcraft. Oh my god, enough! She's a witch! A witch! Well, I don't know if it was witchcraft or not, but it was cool. Thanks, Stella. Literally any time. <laughs> she means it, too. Be careful, she might give you a reading every day. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. Emotionally. Oh, gotta go. Bye! See you in the future! Ah, uh, stop it, you! Baba and I are gone to Isla Nubla. Don't eat all the food at once. Be responsible, no parties, one friend is fine. Fatme, don't stay up late. Nasser, keep up with your homework. Don't misbehave just because we are gone. Call cousin Amal if you need something. And look after each other. My name is Fang, Mom. right to you? I tried turning it into a vector graphic so we can scale it up, but it looks bad, doesn't it? Nah, it looks fine. I think you might be a perfectionist. Aw, thank you. <laughs> that wasn't... Never mind. The yearbook's gonna be great. I hope so. We need more pictures, though. At the moment, it's mostly just Sage. And he's really cute, but this has to represent everyone. Okay, slowly, quietly. Oh, hi. It's weird, but I forgot you lived here. Nasser's just helping me with the student life pages layout. Very cool. You can go now. Wait. Wait, um, do you have any pictures of your band? Uh, what was it called? Worm drama. Right, worm drama. Does that mean anything? Uh, you know what, it doesn't matter. If you have anything, we can add it to the yearbook. Oh, and maybe someone can come take pictures of you at your show. You're playing a show? When? I had no idea. You'll have to wait for the big announcement like everybody else. Okay, but... Don't jinx it! Oh, and then you can use the money for your tour van like you said? Your tour van? Wait, how much money are we talking about? I'm going on tour with Trish and Reed in the summer with my graduation money. It's not a big deal. It's a super big deal. Pretty sure mom and dad aren't gonna let you spend that money on a band. They don't know yet. And it's my plan, isn't it? It just sounds expensive. How would you even... Uh, I think it sounds cool. You get to see so many new places. Exactly. I bet it's gonna be really amazing. Oh, would you play something for me? Um, for us? <laughs> Um, right now? Yeah. You know what? I could use a break. Do you need to go get your guitar? No, I could just play the piano, but I've, I've got all these snacks to eat. Oh, you need some help with those? Doop, doop, doop. I'd really love to hear something if you want. I don't know much about music besides what I hear on the radio. Me too. What is music? I can't even remember. Help. Uh, 
I've had worse audiences. I'll take it. What's it called? It doesn't have a name yet. Maybe. It's called Untitled Number Seven. Huh. Cool. It's just something I'm working on. Here goes. something you wrote. Um, thanks? No, I mean, it sounded really good. It's... I just meant that it's also kind of really sad. Oh. I mean, I'm just experimenting. I thought it was beautiful. So did I. It's nice to hear something that isn't about falling in love for once. True. You never really write about that, do you? I love that one about the moldy pudding. What was it? Puke Factory? Everyone loves Puke Factory. See? You got the touch. Yeah. I'll keep working on it. You'll make the show for sure. Yeah. Maybe we will. Looks like you've got lots of work to do. So let me just let you do it. Wait before you go. Can I send this to Mom and Dad? I think they'd love to see it. They ask me about you, like, all the time. You took a video? Not cool. But can you send it to me? Sure. But what do you think? Could help Mom and Dad get behind your whole tour idea. You know what? Sure. Send it. Why not? But thanks for thinking of that. Of course. Such a sap. Bye, Nasser. Bye, Naomi. See you, Fang. Sorry, was I really awkward? I just thought it was good. Yeah, I know. They're really good. Oh, uh, don't forget to send me pictures! Will do!
Is that weird? Again? Hey, are your phones being weird right now? Yup, it's the electromagnetism again. I think, not totally sure, but what else could it be? Martians? I guess so, actually. Okay, well, um, I'm going home. <laughs> My parents are probably freaking out about whatever's happening. See you in school tomorrow. Bye. Come on in. Hey, I'm gonna make dinner. Mom left a bunch of stuff in the freezer. Is it pizza? Definitely zero chance it's unhealthy in any way. Be right there. What are you making? Whatever was in the tub labeled Monday dinner. I thought about Tuesday dinner, or even Thursday dinner. But I'm not sure we're ready to embrace that level of anarchy. Phew, that was close. Good thing I was here to supervise. Hey, you're not the one getting five texts from mom today. Five. Yikes. There should be a way to cut off parents after they reach a certain number of texts per day. She does it to you, too? Actually, no. They've both kind of ignored me all week since they left. It feels... strange. Kind of like I'm forgetting my keys, but they're just in my pocket the whole time. Yeah, half the texts she sends me are for you anyway. Tell your sister, make sure Fatima does her chores. No, I mean, she's trying. Sometimes she calls you Fang. Does she? Yeah, let me find it. Well, I know she has. She, she's doing her best. We have spices, right? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Needs... It needs a spice. Hmm. Ooh, yes. Turmeric makes everything better. And a sauce. What does brown even taste like anyway? They really couldn't think of a better name for this one, huh? Here, let me taste. Oh, more sauce. Stat. Better? Uh, I mean, it's probably as good as it'll get. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Anyway, I can't give you a ride to school tomorrow either. Unless you want to get up early. I have presidential duties to attend to. Assembly prep. Exciting. Oh, also, I sent Mom and Dad the video. They liked it a lot. Really? What'd they say? Well, it was Mom, but she said, My brilliant and talented children. And one of those free emojis of her sending a kiss. I kinda wish I hadn't shown her how to do that. I... I didn't expect her to like it. That's, that's cool. Why wouldn't she like it? It's really good. Well, whenever I talk about music stuff, they both just kind of shut down. Or say something like, Oh, we're so glad you have meaningful hobbies. Or my favorite is when they're like, Wow, I have no idea how you do that. We're just, we're not creative at all. Like, thank you? I mean, they're not, though. Like, at all. Have you seen Dad try to play Pictosaurus? It's like a psychological experiment. Fascinating. I think they're trying. Like the kind of chill piano music you played is perfect for them to try and understand you. You're just kind of different from them. 
you know? Trust me, that is not something I'm ever able to forget in this house. Not what I meant. It's not like I love how they are with me all the time either. Whatever. Thanks for dinner. Tell mom I'm studying math and wearing a pink dress. Scientists announced today the discovery of a previously unobserved asteroid, estimated to be roughly 10 kilometers in diameter. Designated CO103, the object shows a rather high possibility of entering the solar system and a non-insignificant chance of collision with the planet. Astronomers were quick to add that very little is known about the orbit and speed of the asteroid in these early stages and trajectory predictions are very likely to change as more data is collected. That's right, Mary. Though we know very little, scientists say the asteroid's electromagnetic atmosphere may cause some minor interference with electronics. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs>
What's the internet say? Hey, you, um, you hear the news? Yeah, people are freaking out. But no one really knows anything yet. It's probably nothing. Tell that to Naomi. She's been texting me asteroid facts, and they are high-octane nightmare fuel. Sounds like Naomi. You know every fact she sends me has been cross-checked with at least three verified sources. Kind of hard to dismiss. Let me hear some. Well, okay. For a start, this is the biggest object to get this far into the solar system in... in... ever. Yikes. Good thing it's not gonna hit us, then. Yeah. Seriously? It's not. There's already memes about it, and that means it'll be over in, like, a month. Yeah? Yeah, no, you're right. Thanks. Trust me. You staying up? No. Gonna head to bed. Okay. Okay. Me too. Good night. Night. It's gonna be fine. It's senior year. Just gotta make it to the summer tour. And communities all across the continent reacted to the news of a previously unknown space object this morning. Man, enough about the asteroid. Yeah, that's a good call. I might be obsessing. When did you start listening to Pangea this morning? I thought the goal is to not turn into dead. Uh, I have my own reasons to stay informed. I'm on the debate team. I'm class president. And dad could never pull off this outfit that I'm totally crushing. This silence is nice. We don't need to fill it. Definitely not. Except you have something to say. No. No. Well, hey, hey, could I run something by you? Fine. So, today, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using this year to, um, make an impact. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's, that's bad. I use it 542 times in a 1,000 word speech. I even had a section where I rhymed every sentence with impact. You're describing a poem, and I think having a poem inside your speech is your real problem. We have to act. Let's make this pact. Our goals can become fact. Please stop. It was a bit. No, I have to change it. Yeah, it's just too weird. Can I run some ideas by you? Please help me. Fine. What do you got? Okay, so this year I want us to burn bright, to streak across the sky like flaming trails of potential, ready to vaporize our obstacles upon entry.
Yeah, perfect. Go with that. Wait. Really? Well, you won't have to worry about giving another speech after this one. Right. Just tone it down a little. Maybe less scorching and burning up into dust. Good session. Seriously, please. You're so comfortable on stage and I don't know how you do it. And I want to be that way. Okay, here's what I'd suggest. You've got a... Let people in a bit. What if you just told the truth? How are you feeling about all of this? It's not about me, though. I'm supposed to speak for the student body? We can't even agree on a theme for picture day let alone what to think about world-shattering news. But let's say people are feeling as confused as you are. Coming in as if you know everything would be the worst thing you could do. Thank you. You give pretty good advice sometimes. Wow, I have never been to school this early. You mean on time? Oh, well, good luck today. Thanks, and you'll be there. I'll just focus on you and the audience. <laughs> yeah. Assembly? I can't remember the last time I actually went to that. See? It'll be a fun new thing for you. Plus, you'll get all the hot intel on Senior Picture Day. Woohoo! What are you doing here? You being up this early feels... wrong. Wait, blink twice if you're a mimic. <laughs> new year, new me. Okay, but if you join debate club or something, I'm getting you some help. Hmm, fair. Okay, okay, everybody. Lots of assembly energy happening right now. I kind of like it. Oh, are they still doing that? I don't know. The whole apocalypse thing really puts talking about Pizza Fridays in a different light. I was just gonna go chill on the roof. You are obsessed with going up there. You're above and inside, on the outside. It's awesome. Um... LJ thinks we have talent. Gosh, you think she could write a nice text for once? Um, uh, what should I say back? I mean, that will be there? Wait, there's a gif I think is perfect. Ah, uh, not helpful. I think this means she's rooting for us? We're gonna get in? Or she's telling us not to get our hopes up.
No way. She wouldn't bother with that. Ugh. Emergency band meeting. We need a plan for the audition. The showcase is huge. So, meeting on the roof? Oh my gosh, get over the roof. Perfect, let's go. Wait a minute, don't we have like a week till the audition? Exactly. You're gonna love the view up there. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty great. Right? Peaceful. <laughs> no thanks. I quit. My voice. Anyway, the bad news. About the giant rock that's gonna kill us all? Yeah. We heard. We need new songs for the audition. Seriously though, I got like no sleep thanks to the news. What if it's real? I mean, it's probably, definitely, real. So, like, it could be just as bad as people are saying. They'd never even tell us if we were all toast. Right? What if everything we're doing is for nothing? I just spent hours on homework when I could have been, I don't know, some fun bucket list thing. Exactly. That's what we're doing. And we can still win Battle of the Bands, asteroid or not. Really? Should we even practice at a time like this? Or should we throw off the shackles of capitalism and bound into a life of freedom and hedonistic self-indulgence? <sighs> Hell yeah, Trish. Let's do the music thing, thanks. Which, again, is why we're up here. To talk about the songs. So that'd be what? Three new ones? That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. I have this project with Rosa and a test already happening in calculus, plus babysitting again, and my sister's birthday. We can keep your part really simple. And, and she said all the songs, but maybe only two. Same level of doable. Not happening. Just one? I can't. Unless you want to play by yourself. Fine. Ooh. Let's just play an old song in, like, a new way. Ugh, they're so embarrassing. Wow, okay, sorry. Yikes. Rude. No, ugh, I didn't mean it like that. I just want to write about bigger things now. Our old stuff is about big things. But you could change some of it, I guess. Works for me. Let us know when you're done. Well, maybe we can all pick one at lunch. Sure, sure. I gotta go. To my locker, but in a shady way. Because I have a terrible secret today. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Trish was being weird, right? Before? I don't know. Was she? Uh, are you okay? You've come into this year kind of intense with the band stuff. What's up? The band is important. Why did she have to just leave? I said it was an emergency. You did? And it is. To you. Ugh. <sighs> So I was being weird. Shit. Sorry, I just... It feels like we really have a chance. I bet this would be a good spot to be if it hits. The asteroid? I'd rather not spend my last moments at school, actually. It's weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. Like, to me, everything feels different now. Even though it's just a maybe? Yeah, I don't know. It's like once something may or may not happen, you can't stop thinking about it. And that's like the rest of my life all of a sudden. We're going on tour with the band. You, me, Trish, a van with our name on the side. Nothing has changed. 
the fan would be pretty sick. So, you know how we all play legends and lore, right? An ITM? Yeah. I'm joining this weekend, right? You are. Yes. Anyway, I've been playing LNL since I was like eight years old. I know the game better than anyone in this whole school. It sucks when the people you want to share it with aren't as interested. So, I get it, but I don't know if a lot of other people do. Time to assemble. Good luck with that. Catch me up on whatever I miss. About the yearbook dance or whatever. You're not coming? <laughs> no. I gotta do some invoicing and some L&L planning. Wanna ditch with me? Well, Trish isn't there, so... Are you gonna go in, or...? Guess I have to. Hi. I saved you a spot. Excellent seating choice, right? Not so close to the front that we have to, like, make awkward eye contact. I worked at a movie theater last summer. So I'm kind of an expert on optimal seating. Yeah, good choice. Maybe I should work at a movie theater. Oh my god, wait! I heard you got an audition for the showcase. That's huge! Oh yeah, we're gonna be amazing. No big deal. Oh, hey! Did I tell you what Mango stole this morning? Not one, but three socks from my laundry. Do you think she's trying to build a nest? I mean, I know sometimes they build dens, but usually only in mating season. Oh my god. Baby mangoes? Ah! Yes, please! I want five! A dozen! Ah! Wow! <laughs> yup! Hey! It's starting. Good morning! 
We have a quick announcement and then we'll hear from our class president. Truly an inspiration to us all. Yes, and hi, I'm Naomi, and I'm here to remind you that the Yearbook Club is still looking for members. I know I want to remember this year forever. So you can join and be part of making our memories last a lifetime through good design. And speaking of your book, don't forget, senior pictures are coming up. Um, uh, so some good tips for taking good photos can be found on the Yearbook Club website at... Okay, well, uh, okay, thanks! <laughs> she seems fearless. Look. We're all feeling a little off right now. I know I am. But I also know I'm not alone. And I know you aren't either. And if it ever feels like that, come find me. Seriously. He's connecting. It's working. She barely knows Rosa. In conclusion, maybe the rock will hit us, and maybe probably it won't, but either way, we will still have each other. Kind of. Okay, and that's my perfectly crafted plug for the big dance. So, end of the year, mark your calendars, prep your moves. That's it for me. You've been great, Volcano High. Please don't post any videos of this, like, anywhere ever. Thanks. Okay, not to be weird, but that speech was, like, amazing. Um, not weird. Do you have eyes? Nasser can get it. Mm. Don't see it. <laughs> That's my husband you're talking about. Hey, uh, hey, hey, guys. <laughs> I forgot to mention it at assembly, but the Young Engineers Club has some openings for new members. <laughs> oh, yeah? What kind of thing do y'all do? Well, on Thursday, we'll be dissecting a frog. A robotic frog. Oh, sick. Yeah, and it'll look good on college applications, so the more the merrier. Wait, I thought you were going to be a physician, though. Uh, I, I mean, I, I am. <laughs> Engineering is basically just surgery for machines. <laughs> totally. Anyway, um... Okay, bye. <laughs> so what's the deal with Miss Robot Frog and Nasser? Are they a thing or... Naomi? Nah. Oh my god, you're obsessed with him! You know what you should do? You should do a tarot reading about it. Who says I haven't? What did it say? True the lovers, no big deal. Oh, I love that card! Oh, hey! Locker Pals. Oh, huh. Yeah. I'm glad we finally met. Trish talks about you, like, all the time. Ha! <laughs> Does she really? Oh, yeah. Every song that came on Shuffle, she would have a whole story about a concert you two went to, or a riff you did. We've been into music for a long time. It feels like we're bound by it. But, you know, like, in, in a good way. <laughs> I get it. And now Battle of the Bands? You're really killing it. Well, I don't know about that, but we're doing our best. I don't know. I work with LJ. Trust me. I know how picky she could be. Getting that audition is a big deal. Yeah. You know, I really hope that Trish and Reed know that. Honestly, it seems like Trish is just so busy since we got back. Well, I think Trish is figuring things out. She knows how important this is. 
She's just a bit scattered, a little anxious. We talk about it sometimes. Sorry. What for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, hey, I gotta go. I'll be sending good vibes at the audition. I'm on shift. I'll see you there. I mean, so everything is gonna be like flattened, right? Squish, stuck to the bottom of a rock, like we're just gum or something. I mean, wherever it makes impact, yeah. If it makes impact. Right, right. So then everything else will just explode into dust? Like all those cars in the parking lot. And all the straw wrappers and sunglasses and little air fresher things inside the cars. <laughs> Did you just write a poem? Shut up. You really aren't thinking about it? The big kaboom? Not really. There's so much we don't know yet, right? Gotta just control what we can until we know more. The Zen. I guess. Which is why we are gonna absolutely nail this audition. That's like the one thing we can control right now. To say what we want and, and who we are and have people actually listen. And doing it on our terms, with our songs and our hard work. Like, sure, this meteor might kill us all, but wouldn't it actually feel worse to blow our shot? I don't want to live like that. And if LJ hates our stuff, that's exactly what's going to happen. So we just got to do it. Practice. Well, yeah, but that's not what I meant. Play our songs good? Yes, our songs. She wants something new, remember? But we can't do that before the audition, so we have to just rework an old song. F -f the back catalog. Okay, here are our options. First up, everyone's favorite, Puke Factory. My mother is a robot, beep boop. Oh my god, these titles. And last but not least, ugh, it bent Jimmy Two-Face. Well, what do we think? What's your favorite? Get bent Jimmy Two-Face. That song gives me all the feels. In a good way now, though. My mother is a robot. Beep boop. Great, no consensus. I guess we can go with Get bent, Jimmy Two-Face. Yeah, that guy still sucks. So, it needs a new name. What else? Different key, new hooks. So wait, we have to redo the whole song in like a few days? Dude, no way we can do that. But we have to. And I also have to go to school and babysit and study and not fail my classes. Me too. Not babysitting, but, you know, my job. Yeah, this is like an extreme makeover. I don't know if we can pull it off. Maybe we just... don't? No, okay, um, just let me think. I will figure this out. I have my MIDI controller, and, and I can make it so your part isn't that different. Ooh, MIDI magic. Sick. I'll make it work, I promise. Trust me. Just give me my little part, and I'll be there. Okay, okay. Cool. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. MIDI controller... <clears throat> MIDI controller...
Are you cleaning? I feel faint. I'm just looking for something. Oh, I thought this was all a highly specialized management system. Or that's what I've heard you scream at mom for years anyway. It is. So, big audition coming up. How are you feeling about it? Good. Totally fine. Why? No, nothing. Just asking. I used to get really nervous before every debate tournament, you know? But Naomi taught me this great meditation. I can teach it to you sometime. I'm good, thanks. I'm kind of busy working on songs, actually. Would you ever be a solo act? What? No, no way. Worm Drama is a band. Interesting. That must be weird, though, right? Like, sharing something like that with other people. I mean, everyone thinks you're some mysterious rebel, but you actually have a really tight crew. Who thinks that about me? It's your brand. Your whole... thing. I don't know. The band is special. I just think it's cool that you have that. I'm gonna go shoot hoops with my sports band. Ugh, I should probably empty this out sometime. A uh, boot? These are probably still good, right? Generic black sock number 41. I would unfold this to see what it is, but it's something, something mightier than the sword. Oh god. This thing probably has mold no one's ever even heard of. These should probably go in the wash. I was wondering where this sock went. A boot! I'll read these someday. Bro. Yes!
That was local favorite Swamp Babies of their newest LP, Rabies Babies. Pretty messed up title, but okay. Speaking of the Bay's babyest trio, you'll be able to catch them at this year's Battle of the Bands. Hit up Lava Java's website for all the details. And as always, we'll be there scouting out the songs we'll play for you all year. Don't miss it. Ugh, Swamp Babies. I don't get it. Don't forget, Photo Day! Uh, no! No! No, 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 no! It's that time again for a ride to school with me. Thanks. One sec. Hi, makers and breakers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to fix... Blah, 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 blah. So this is a bit tricky, and I would not recommend you try this solo unless you have experience with this sort of thing. If you end up with a real expensive paperweight, you've been warned. Ugh. Damn it! Fang! I'm leaving for real! Wait! I'm I'm coming! Good news, my tallest friend. Except Greg. He's a long man. You figured out how to get nail polish off a MIDI controller? Oh, that... No. Major bummer. Okay, so the controller is an open issue, but hey, I got some other great news. Rosa got a job at Lava Java! She's our woman on the inside! She says LJ is actually a huge softie. What do you think? Should I tell her to put in a good word for us? I mean, yes, that's actually a great idea. But I don't think you understand. Without the MIDI controller, we have no songs to play. Except the ones we know LJ hates. Well, I don't know. How bad can it be? Oh, pretty bad, I guess. Cute color, though. Thanks.
You're up. Oh, no. I'll go later. Got my afternoon glow going. Bang! Oh, just the person I need. Can I ask you a huge favor? Reed promised me he wouldn't skip picture day this year, and... <gasps> Naomi, you fix electronics in your science club, right? Uh, yes. I, I mean, not like broken phones or anything, but yeah. Nail polish. This morning. Oh, yikes. Is it dead? It's not great, but it's totally fixable. If he'd use the glitter polish, I don't know. But, mm. Can you fix it? Uh, totally. <laughs> Probably. I think so. You can fix it. Just, sorry. Do you think you could find Reed for me? Then I can take a look? I cannot have a blank photo in my yearbook. Not again. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, Reed, where are you? Hey, you here to make banners? Oh, you mean Pinkhead Dude? Yeah. I mean, no. No, I haven't seen him. But yeah, I like know who he is. Go Razor Wings! Breathe. Seen him all over, man. He goes to our school. Wait, do you even go here? Oh, yeah, I saw him. Oh, hey, you guys are friends. I don't suppose you could hook us up. He's got such a vibe. Uh, really? I haven't seen him, which is good because I owe him 20 bucks for stuff. Don't tell him I said that. <gasps> tell him he owes me 20 bucks. Yeah. Of course. Best spot in school, right? Yeah. It's great. Listen, there's something I need you to do for me. I, I mean, for the band. But you're not gonna like it. Sounds awesome. Tell me more. You have to go get your senior picture taken. Nope. Come on. Why not? It's a family tradition. Orson didn't do it, my mom didn't do it, her mom didn't do it. I'm just carrying on a long line of being blank spaces in yearbooks. Admirable. Totally makes sense. 100% normal. But what if I told you that if you do the picture, Naomi will fix my MIDI controller and save our audition and then we can win and play Caldera Fest and have amazing lives? Naomi. Oh shit, I think we did talk about this. It was her one condition. Oh, uh, yeah. And she doesn't budge. Believe me. I have to think through everything when I'm writing a campaign for her. Okay, so is that a yes? You know, I just wrote in a new storyline for your L&L character. Wait, what do you mean, storyline? I thought I just showed up and rolled dice until something died. No. You've got a whole character arc now. And you'll have to play through it every session. Are, are you holding my MIDI controller hostage? Pretty much. You do want it fixed, right? Yes. I'll do it. I was gonna anyway, I think. Just please get a picture. 
Uh, I should have worn a different tank top. Oh, this? I'm saving the band with my sacrifice. I am a hero. <laughs> You're the best. Right this way, sir. Go get him, slugger. Does my hair look stupid? Stop moving! I feel weird. Are you guys hot? It's hot in here, right? <laughs> You're doing great. Yes! Oh, that's 100% photo completion! After your pick, of course. Thanks, Naomi. Seriously. So, you got this? Yep. I, I mean, I'll try. Meet me after school today. You can't do it, like, now, maybe? We have our last practice after school, and tomorrow is the audition. I have to get these proofs to the office and pay the photographer, then Miss Roberts needs me to assist with a freshman demo, and then there's language lab. Okay, yeah. After school. Thanks. No! <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to pull that off. Oh, no, 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 no! The backdrops! We, we, we can't retake it! Oh my god, what is this stuff? And, and, oh my god. That smell. It's her mask. It's very distinct. What's wrong? Did you not just witness my truly triumphant moment? No, no, sorry. Reed really saved us, and hopefully Naomi will save us. But now we don't get one last practice before tomorrow. Wait, is that all? No biggie. We got this. We've practiced like a million times. I mean, I can use the time on L&L, so... Win-win! Oh no, <laughs> I better... Later, Wormies. Oh, hey. Was I supposed to give you a ride or something? I'm actually here to see Naomi. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we can work over here. Why does your MIDI controller smell like chemicals? It's just nail polish. And solder and a chemical solvent. We should probably open a window, actually. Okay, yeah. I'm out of here. Thanks for stinking up the place. I love stuff like this. Seeing how things are put together on the inside. Like... an autopsy. Wait, does that mean it's dead? No, no, just... Sorry. This means a lot to you, I know. That probably seems dumb, right? I mean, I care too much about everything. It's not like I know any other way to be. So, uh, why music? Um, what do you mean? Like, what got you into it? Ha! <laughs> oh my god, I, I never even really thought about it, you know? It, it always just felt like the right thing. I guess I made up little songs when I was a kid for Nasser and stuff. Our parents were always working a lot, so we kind of had to entertain ourselves. Like... I know I'm supposed to talk about how songs helped me find myself or understand the world or something, but... They don't? No, no, I mean, they do. Especially right now. But it's also that I feel different when I'm playing. My whole body feels lighter. Um, 
Does that make any sense? Absolutely. It's called the flow, and people feel it from all sorts of things. Exercise, painting, math, even. I feel it when I'm doing things like this, putting things together, or back together. It's like you're doing exactly what you were meant to do. Yeah, that's it. All fixed. Ugh, Naomi, you're a genius. I owe you like a million favors. Well, since you're gonna be in the Battle of the Bands, um, maybe a VIP ticket? Wow, uh, I mean, yeah, sure. If we get in, I will totally do that for you. If? Wait, I thought... Uh, so tomorrow is kind of just an audition to get into the battle, but I've been working really hard. A and now this works! I was happy to help. And it was nice, you know, to chat. Yeah. Well, I'll just, um... See you at the Battle of the Bands. I can't believe we missed practice because of the controller. What if that was what would have put us over the edge? Hey, everything okay? Uh, yeah. But we have a gig tomorrow, kinda, right? Yes. So, we gotta do the thing. Oh my god! I forgot! With the controller, and I had to get Naomi to fix it and everything. I got you. Swiped it from my dad's desk. Hope it wasn't important. With this sacrifice, we decree worm, worm drama. drama. No, no harma. harma. Here we spend, we spend all, all our, good our good karma. karma. Worms, Worms till, till the end. end. Worm, Worm drama, drama forever. Wow, we were kind of weird kids, huh? Totally. Okay, with that, I gotta go. I'm supposed to be home with the kids right now, but you know we have to do this. You're the best. Back at ya.
Still no ETA for mom and dad? Nope. Did you go shopping? I did. I heroically accepted the groceries our parents had delivered from afar. Hey, wish me luck. With audition or those questionable food choices? <laughs> Both. How are you always so chill? A master never reveals his secrets. Hmm. Master. Okay. It's all a matter of perspective. Is that code for don't give a shit about anything? It's code for give just the right amount of shits. What are you doing out here? Whoa. Where were you? Inside, waiting to nail this audition. I got here early to help Rosa close up so she can watch us play. And check it out, free lattes. Ah, caffeine. Yes. This is weird. Or like terrifying. Hello, competitors. Tonight, you are auditioning for a spot in my annual Battle of the Band. Why a battle, LJ? It seems kinda harsh. Can't we all just play our music and support each other? Ha! The best thing I can do to support musicians that I believe in is to challenge them, toughen them up, and push them to make their best music. And that's what I'm here to do for you. Make sure you're ready. Agents, tours, the whole shebang. Like the Spines, ever heard of them? Or how about Tina and the Tyrannosaurs? Know their multiple number one singles? They rule. Goddesses. Or how about Swamp Babies, the band everyone thinks will win this year? But then young upstarts Worm Drama are here to throw them off and maybe this is their year. Ah, that's us, woo! My point is that you are all here because you show promise. And I need to see which of you can actually fulfill that promise and earn a spot at Caldera Fest where you will perform for thousands of members of the paying public. Now, let's get to it. After all, I hear a huge rock is coming from outer space to kill us all anyway. So, certainly sounds like showtime to me. First band! So that's not the same song you played last month? Oh no, uh, uh, so we changed the hook. Um, so before it was like, hey, and now, now it's like, hey. You see how it went up there? It went up at the end. I wasn't really asking. If I can't tell, that's all you need to know. Next! Am I in hell? Maybe. Come on, let's go. Um, hi. We are Worm Drama. And this is us. Take me back. 
Not bad. Nerves got you a bit, huh? Wait, that sounds bad. Did we suck? Nah, not even close. Did good. Couple of rough patches here and there, but you probably already knew that. You're only as good as your weakest link. Thanks. Um, we did what you said with the new songs, and, and we worked really hard. I can tell. But you thought it was okay? Stop worrying so much about whether other people like it or not. All that does is rattle your nerves and make you play like crap. You have something special. Run with it. See you at the show, kids. We're in? We're in! Yeah, okay, get off my stage now. Next! I can't believe we did it! I, I, I feel like I'm dreaming. Am I dreaming? I feel like I had an out-of-body experience. I bailed hard a couple times. Do you think LJ noticed? God, she sees everything, but, but don't worry about it. We keep practicing and we'll get there. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Selfie? You better remember us when you're famous. I just want to play music. And we still have so much work to do. Like, we have to put up all these posters so people will actually show up and cheer for us. Do you think all this get it energy is tied to the meteor? The power of stardust. What do you mean? Sometimes all you need is a push. Like today I drew the Eight of Wands. This is a higher power saying, like, move it, girl! I was about to pass your ass, let's go!
<laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I, I feel like I'm finally on my way to something. I really believe that the cards just help us get clarity. It's not. Not about the future so much as tuning into where you are right now. And what energy you can work with and what energy you can send right to the trash. See ya, no thanks. You wanna draw one? Um, yeah, I guess. Why not? Right? Think of a question. One of these three cards holds the answer. Or something like that. Uh-oh. Well, no, I'm sure it's fine. Any immediate feelings? Um, how screwed am I? <laughs> oh, babe, don't worry about it. Um, you, you didn't answer the question. Mm, sorry to butt in, but we gotta run. School and all. <sighs> right. Listen, find me later if you want. I can explain it a bit. Catch you later, shooting rock star. That card and all that stuff about the asteroid. If there are signs from the universe, a giant rock from space is a pretty shitty one. I, I can't let that be it. Uh, snap out of it, dork. It's close to the deadline for college applications, so if you've been procrastinating, consider your final snooze button pressed. Now, Naomi has generously offered to help anyone who may be struggling. I can help with essays or proofreading. Whatever you need. Any questions? Yeah, so... Uh, why are we even doing this? Well, you might not care that many of your classmates are looking to their future. Sorry, really, but what future? I hate to break it to you, but this seems like a waste of time. I mean, the future we're looking at's got a big rock blasting through it. No, the future is what we make it. I've worked really hard to get the life I want, and I'm not gonna let a big jerk rock ruin that. She's right. All the more reason to go for what I know I want right now. Yeah, nothing is set in stone. Or... whatever. You know what I mean. I guess I just don't see how anybody could ignore this. Well, since you insist on the subject... Presently, we are within the early detection period. As time goes on, it may appear that the probability of a collision increases. However... This is to be expected, as more precision shrinks the field of probability. Ultimately, we can expect the probability of impact to go down over time. Statistically speaking, if it did impact the planet, it would most likely be on a sparsely populated area or the ocean. There will always be a reason to avoid difficult tasks. I advise you to desensitize yourself to it, or you'll never leave this classroom. Whatever. 
primarily how you intend to excel under these unprecedented circumstances. Perhaps the subject is not entirely irrelevant. It would stand you in good stead to reference the current events in your application letters. So, oh, like I said, your Mega Zostrodon did not eat your homework. The asteroid does not excuse you from planning your future. I'm gonna hit the vending machines. See you at practice, Dark Mage. Don't worry about LNL. Reed is a really great DM, and and you're a natural performer. Um. I'm sure you'll be great. <laughs> uh, thanks. I appreciate that. Really looking forward to it. Ha! <laughs> yep. Yeah, and me too. Well, this is... I got up. Yeah, I never thought I'd see LJ look at us like... Like she didn't want to squish us out of existence? Seriously, dude. Amazing. Who put up the poster outside? Yo. Nice. God, I can't wait to destroy swamp babies. <laughs> Who's feeling smug in their leather pants now? More like... Bog... Olds. Mm, no. I'll workshop it. Please. I want to see baby tears. I mean, not like that, like the band, crying. We'll workshop it. So how does this battle thing work anyway? LJ just picks whoever she likes most? Because she personally texts you, so... Um, kind of. But it, it's not just that, or even who has the best songs. It's also who the audience liked the most. And not just liked, but who they connected with, you know? Yeah. And whoever LJ can get people to come see. Yeah, that's why the posters are so important. If we don't have anyone there for us, we're not gonna have an audience to connect with. Okay, no problem. 
We could win this thing right now. Not really. I mean, we hate swamp babies. Wetland grannies. But everyone else pretty much loves them. So we need three killer new songs. Like what LJ was asking for originally. I, I have some ideas. Wait, we're not just doing the songs we just did that, you know, won? I mean, that'd definitely be easier, but she said new songs. We got lucky just reworking the old stuff for the audition. Plus, we have a big chance now. We've got to use it to let people see the real worm drama. You mean us? Yeah, but like the us we're going to be when we're out on tour, you know? Not just high school kids. So... Did you put up the rest of the posters? Because I can print more. I only took that one to school. Figured we'd have it covered. But I gave the rest to Orson to put up on his delivery route. Smart. Oh no! I forgot to take him out of my bag. Dude, I'm so sorry. So? Just put them up now. So, they are thoroughly slimed. We need to get people to come. What happened? Okay, so I brought Mango to school again because I think she might have separation anxiety. My dad told me she makes like a whimpering sound when I'm gone and that made my heart explode. Anyway, she just sleeps in here all day anyway, so no one even knows. But she kind of sometimes sleep slimes. Like most of the time. Like all the time. Cool. That's very gross. So I was gonna put the posters in my locker Mango? Wait. Mango? She's not here! Oh my god, she got out! Oh, uh oh. Okay, okay. Um, when did you last see her? Feel her in there? I don't know. Lunch, I guess? That was over an hour ago. She could be anywhere. I have to find her! It's okay. We're gonna help you look. But. Right? Fang? Totally. Practice canceled. Let's find a worm. Okay, first we need to triangulate and we need bait. Here are some moss biscuits that Rosa made for her. Mango loves them. We're gonna find her. It's gonna be okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Worm hunt commence. <sighs> okay, if I were a weird little worm thing, where would I go? Wait. Do I smell slime? Of course I've seen a mango. Seen all kinds of fruits, man. Oh, a worm? I didn't know mango worms were a thing. I'll keep an eye out next time I'm in the grocery store, though. Have I seen a worm? Have I seen a worm? Do you see my shirt? It went down the hall. I have to go change. <sighs> You're in the trash, aren't you? You're gonna make me dig through trash. Okay, okay. Whew. Here we go.
Hi. Hello. Look what I found. Oh, hey. They turned out pretty good, huh? Almost makes me wish Mom and Dad were back to see me actually succeeding at music. Imagine that. You're not getting it. Probably because you completely ignored my texts today, but... It took me forever to pull them all down. Why would you do that? I had to. Lava Java serves beer after five. You can't advertise that in a school, Fang. What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Who even cares? The principal? The school board? The school could get a huge fine. And I'm the student representative. Class president takes the blame. Come on. I don't believe that. No one cares that much. Except me, the real person in front of you. I didn't make the rule, but I'm responsible for it. That's why I sent you like 10 texts that I'm sure are still unread. I could have helped you put stickers over the venue name or something. Everyone knows where it is anyway. Can't I have one thing, Nasser? Why do you have to ruin this for me? That's what you think I'm trying to do? You're the one who locked yourself into mom and dad's little plan for you. Uh, sorry I'm not doing presentations on, like, admissions essays or whatever. You guys can't stand to see me do what I want if it isn't go to college, get a job, work. I'm into music, so I'm doing that. It's not that complicated. You can do whatever and be happy. Yeah, guess I wasn't chosen for greatness. That's not what I meant. Oh yeah? You don't get it, do you? I don't have it easy, Fang. I don't actually just do whatever. I don't have that kind of freedom. And I do? I am sick of everyone treating me like some spoiled brat. Like I don't bust my ass. If I was studying every night to be a doctor or something... You'd be Naomi. Right. And everyone would love me for it. I mean, at least they'd assume I was doing something valuable. And no one would think I had all this freedom. They'd just think I knew what I wanted and how to get it. Is that how Trish feels too? Feels like I haven't seen her around as much lately. What are you getting at? Worm drama is actually getting somewhere. Finally. And you're sure everyone's along for the same ride? What's the worst that could happen if you have a backup? Not starve? Make mom and dad a little bit happy? Because otherwise, what? You live here forever? You and me both, right? Or do you have big dreams? I'm still figuring that out. What's your plan B? What's your plan A, now that you mention it? I don't know. Ha! Is that why you're nagging me so hard right now? Do you want me to help you figure out what you want to be when you grow up? I'm not even graduating this year. Really? Nothing? I'm working on it. I... I still have time. Oh, come on. All you have to say is doctor or lawyer. I'll text it to mom and dad right now. I'm not just going to say something to make you happy. <laughs> Imagine that. Why are you even doing all these activities then?
just to get a gold star for doing what everyone else tells you to? <sighs> you shouldn't let mom and dad pressure you so much. Just do what you want. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I promise it's not as scary as it seems. Ha <laughs> ha ha! my dark mage. How fare you this fine eve? Ha! <laughs> um, okay, we're, we're, we're jumping right in. I, I fare thee, um... Welcome, Faye. Always room for more magic. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Okay, out of character, I'm really glad you're here. I made some last minute changes to the story. I think it's gonna help get Trish on track for the concert. Wait, so you do see that she's being kind of weird? I mean, Trish isn't really doing anything on purpose. She's just got a lot of stuff going on. Chef Jeff is served with hors d'oeuvres. Please do not get on the table again, Sage. Oh, I love these ones with the creamy stuff. Oh, we got here just in time. Fresh snacks. Look, I'm not gonna spoil the story, but just... We're all in this together, you know? That's what the game's all about. So maybe it'll make the whole band thing feel more... You know? Yeah. I hope so. Previously on Legends and Lore. Our party tracked Kef's cultists, hell-bent on ushering in a cataclysm of apocalyptic proportions to a confrontation that left the Dark Mage Fae unconscious. Kef has escaped, intent on summoning Braxis, an ancient god of death and destruction to this world. But Fae is stirring, and their amnesia is subsiding. The Elder Celeste leans in close to Faye, on the deck of the Vagrant. Oh, um, I, I didn't know I had to prepare anything. That's okay, perfectly fine. The Loremeister's Guide says it's totally fine to not have a huge backstory already. Maybe we could get some suggestions from the table. Oh, oh, you're the long-lost heiress to a distant kingdom, banished as a child after an unjust coup. <gasps> Maybe you were an astute student until your aspirations turned unorthodox and you began studying the scythe. Or you were a traveling musician who signed away your soul for incredible talent with the guitar. Maybe that's how you lost your memories or something. Yeah, I'm 
<laughs> Sweet. Oh, <laughs> Fine. It's in the waterfall. Sid parks the airship nearby while you check behind the waterfall. Indeed, there is a cave there. Deeper inside, you come across a door surrounded by shining crystals. Let's go, go, go,
The door now open, you quietly sneak into the antechamber. Inside, the torchlight of the cultists reflects off the sparkling walls as they gyrate around an enormous crystal that's buzzing with magical energy. As the cultists begin their dramatic crescendo, a hooded figure emerges from behind the crystal. He lowers his hood, and you see the striking figure of Kev, the lead cultist. Even from afar, Kef holds absolute sway over the cult. Kef raises his hand. Seducible? <laughs> um, he's kind of in the middle of something right now. Uh, no, Kef raises his hand. It's a lovely robe that shows no more scale than is appropriate. He raises... He's had some hard times, okay? He raises his hand in the crystal of lights. There. He bellows. What do you all want to do? <laughs> the heroes charge at the cultists. <laughs> Kef buckles over, wretches, and then spews out a liquid secretion that begins to form into a disgusting dinosaur. All right, you're entering combat. The golem advances, followed by the cultists. Roll for initiative. Looks like that's the highest roll. You'll go first. The golem is enshrouded in black smoke, and it slows down a bit, disoriented. All right. Unfortunately, the golem is already slimy, so he isn't really affected. The cultists, however, will have trouble with that. Oh, hold on there. It's not your attack anymore. Now it's the golem's turn. It lurches out abruptly and smacks Ollie down to the ground. Ollie, you take... Five acid damage. Oh. Yeah, that's nothing. You're gonna keep taking damage if you don't get out from under there. Right. 
Little gooey bits of golem are sliced off, and a few cultists retreat behind some of the sheltering rocks to escape the barrage of sharp leaves. Nice. Next, Maya. A cultist casts a spell of confusion on you. Roll to resist. Brilliant. Finally, Jeff. A whipped cream-covered cultist grabs your ankles and knocks you to the floor. You are being grappled. extra effective against the golem. It wails and gurgles and melts into a bubbling pool. There's still a few cultists standing. Maya and Linnea, you both rolled the same initiative. Who wants to go first? Vines sound pretty cool, actually. Okay, give me a roll. Vines erupt all over the cave floor and tangle around the feet of the remaining cultists. They might as well be wearing cement booties. The last cultist falls. But the crystal gets exceptionally bright and then explodes. Cap lies on the ground. Ah. Ah, yes, the area of authenticity. Kef and everyone standing around him are forced to tell the truth. That's right, that's right. Look, I'm Look, 
And thus, thus, I die. Thank you. <clears throat> you guys survey the aftermath of the crystal explosion and Kef's remains. You feel a small tremor come from the caves. <laughs> There's no loot. You notice a weirdly shaped crystal sticking out of the dirt. Another tremor. You pull out a crystal guitar. It is gnarly. Mm, it blight, uh, mm, no, no, no. <laughs> That's a different kind of axe. As soon as you take hold of its handle, another tremor shakes the room. This one is bigger. The ceiling shudders and then cracks, and a giant crystal falls and blocks the entrance. Amazing! As you shred, the sound of the guitar grows around you. It resonates against the walls, getting louder and louder, eventually shattering all the crystals! The path is clear. A uh, voice? No. No, it's just epically cool. Why do you ask? Cool. You hear the airship droning above you, here to pick you up. where we'll end our session tonight. So, that was LNL. What do you think, Fang? Um, I loved it. Isn't he the best? Like, dude, I cannot handle that Celeste voice. It's my favorite. Like, can that be my ringtone? Pick up the phone, Jeff. I can feel it. Well, time to feed the wormy. That was epic. Super epic. I think it worked? Hard to say. Right. Guess we'll see. Well...
Thanks again. That was really cool. And now I know what you're thinking about between all of your drum solos. Welcome. <laughs> In fact, preparing for the future is one of the most important things you can do. Really? But it sounds so overwhelming. Where do I even start? That's a very good question, Nasser. <laughs> but remember what we just talked about. Oh yeah, all those forms. So next year, when it's time for you to apply to college, Nasser, what form will you start with? The application for financial aid? Right. And why? Because I have expensive taste. Ha! And because then, I'll have an idea of which schools are an option for me. <laughs> Great! So let's say you've got that all filled out. Then, you'll want to research schools that excel in the area you want to study. Well, I like the sound of cross-continental development, but I also like the sound of political science. What do I do if I can't decide? Have you considered a double major? Think about your free time. What do you do outside of class? Hmm. Huh. Not much I want to list on paper, honestly. Oh, well, I guess I'm president of the Student Life Association, and I run the debate club. Great! Anything else? And the Young Leaders League, and I volunteer with Pangea tomorrow. You also write for the newspaper, don't you? Oh, right. Yeah, I have editorials in the plane sometimes. Gotta stay busy. Let's put all of these down under extracurriculars. It's a good idea to have at least one, and you're really going above and beyond, Nasser. Do you have any more questions? No, I think you answered them all. What about you guys? Do you feel ready to choose your destiny? Very well done, Nasser Naomi. Class, I encourage you to take advantage of your knowledgeable peers and ask any questions you may have. Yo, which school has the hottest student body, though? Um, that's not really a... I'm going to know, Paul, so you do the math. Um...
Is this something all of us really need to hear? In fact, I agree with you. Are there any other more pertinent questions? That's not what I... Really, any questions at all? I've completed mock applications for all of the big schools. I have 20 bucks here. Could I buy one of those applications? <gasps> no! Okay, cool. What do you know about GPAs? I heard you need at least a 3.9 to even have a chance at a lot of places. Oh, well, uh, I can actually answer this one. Uh, the baseline is really 3.5, but the higher the better. And you can always boost your chances by showing you're engaged with the subject on your own time. Cool, cool. You went to tendrils, right? Something like that would look amazing on an application. We can talk about it after class if you want. I'd be happy to help. Aw, thanks, Naomi. Hey, 40? I am doubling my price. No, it's, it's not about the money. 47? Final offer. Um, no! Why not? It's wrong? Uh, plus, you'd get in under false credentials, which would be bad for you. You don't know that. Okay, this assembly is officially over. Please take some college brochures on your way out. Thanks for coming, and good luck with your college apps. Especially you there, my cheap friend. I'm gonna miss you guys so bad next year. Like, we are still gonna have this, right? Like, even if we're not at the same school? Yeah, together wherever, right? Yeah, you can't get rid of us that easy. I'll have you guys over all the time to try my weird food experiments. I applied to like 300 culinary programs, but I don't know. The more real it gets, the more it's like... Ugh. No, you see, <laughs> nothing's set in stone, dude. It isn't real till it's real. I mean, I guess, but I'm pretty sure cooking is it for me. This feels like make or break. I get it. There are hobbies and, like, careers, and then there are things that almost consume you. Uh, if anyone's consuming anything here, it's me, and all 5,000 of Sage's experimental cookies. No, like, um, like when you do it, you get lost in the moment, you know? All that exists is you and what you're doing and what you're making. There's no future to worry about, only the craft. But thinking about making it your life is, is scary. The stakes are... Higher. Oh, that's exactly it. I knew you'd get it. Anyway, I'm not really worried about which place I go to. It doesn't matter where I do it as long as I get to do it, you know? I just want to be able to do it. I mean, first of all, you're going to be amazing. And you know your girl is always ready to taste test. Okay, but you actually have to tell me if something sucks, though. Babe, I always tell you the truth. It's not my fault you're a literal culinary superstar. Plus, I'll have nothing but time. Yeah? What are you doing next year? I think I'm gonna take a year or two to feel things out. See what vibes. I'm trying not to put anything into a box just yet. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't get why everyone is so obsessed with college. I have literal nightmares about it. Oh, I'm definitely going someday. I just feel like... Why not have some fun, too? I can get behind that. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about next year, actually. Not the word I'd use. You don't think about what you'll be doing? Yeah, uh... Oh, definitely. Uh... I guess, if I'm around, I'll take a creative writing or game design class, maybe. You'd be so great at either one. Yeah, you already totally have the writing thing down. Like, you in l and L. I don't know how you do it. Thanks. Weird hug. Kind of became my life. Great, great. So, everyone has it all figured out. 
You must have some ideas. What are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. I've just spent all this time on, like, bug camp and soft circuits and welding and whatever, and I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. That just means you can do anything. Seriously, you're like one of the smartest people. It's true. There isn't much you can't figure out. Even this. But actually, I mean, what takes up most of your brain space right now? What about... You and Rosa are always talking about your worm. Mango? My baby. <laughs> so why not, like, worm science? Entomology? See? Bugs are kind of your thing. That time we tried to do ASMR, you whispered about molting cycles for, like, half an hour. <sighs> I don't know, guys. What if I change my mind in a year? What if I suck at it? You don't have to go if you don't want to. Right, you're not going at all. That's even scarier, honestly. But, but you'll be great. Music is like a sure thing for you. I mean, it kinda has to be. I've never seen a future without worm drama. I mean, if we're lucky, things will take off after Caldera Fest. But who knows? They will. I can feel it. And we're gonna be there to cheer you on. Hm. I hope so. Hey, Fang! Wait up, wait up! Hey, what's up? Hey, um, I just wanted to say thanks uh, for earlier. When we were hanging out with everyone and like, talking about the future and our plans and stuff. I, I really appreciated what you said. Oh, huh. I mean, it's, it's no big deal. You don't need to thank me for it. I just kind of word vomited all over the place. No, no, it was cool. I, I really needed to hear it. You did? Yeah. It felt good to have someone, like, get it. I mean, love my family, love my friends. Sometimes it feels like no one takes me seriously. <laughs> I know, I don't make it easy for them. I can't help it though. I can't deal with people being uncomfortable around me. I have to make them feel at ease. I get that. Anything that makes it easier for them to just deal, right? Right. When I told my family I wanted to transition, they took it hard. They were accepting, but super uncomfortable. Yeah, same. Except I don't even know if accepting is the right word for it. Feels more like playing dumb. All I could think to do about it was make them laugh. Even if it was at my own expense, at least I'd be laughing with them, right? But I, I feel like I kind of dug my own grave instead of being, I don't know, hateful about gender stuff. They're dismissive instead. And it feels like that carried over to, like, everything else about me. Like, like me wanting to be a chef. <sighs> everything about me feels like a joke to them. And transitioning is hard enough for them to wrap their heads around, but it doesn't help that I dress like this. It's way easier to be feminine now that it's not expected of me, you know? Now that it's a choice for me instead of an obligation, but to them, I'm like... I don't even know. Playing dress up like a kid. They laugh and compliment me, but they don't expect anything from me anymore. My parents barely remember to use the right name for me, much less pronouns. Maybe it would be easier if I, like, I don't know, presented more mask. But that's not really what I want. <sighs> exactly. And like, they're cool about the music stuff, but they definitely don't think it's a career for me. They know I'm, I'm good, but they don't, like, see a future in it. I feel like half the time my family just thinks I'm confused and they're waiting for me to settle on something normal or whatever. Oh my god, same. Dude, fuck that. 
We don't owe them normal. Hell yeah. Nope. No way. Nope. Nope.
Check out this cafeteria. There's a taco station and a rap station. Separate stations! Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Look at all these entomology courses. There's an entire class just on spider biology. I looked it up. It has six different textbooks. Oh, <laughs> uh, mm, why not eight? Feels like a missed opportunity. Dude, I'm gonna be the spider queen. What about you, Fang? I think I'm more of a dragonfly wizard. Very cool. I mean, what about your applications? For college? I'm not applying anywhere. Do your parents know that? Because... The Battle of the Bands is my college application. We get that break and we're set. And at least we know the show is actually gonna happen. What does that mean? Uh, not you too. I heard just this morning that even if it does hit, it'll probably land in the ocean. But just think about it. Us, being hit, smack on the nose, out of the huge vastness of the entire galaxy? It's a statistical anomaly. Yeah. Hope you're right. It's just science. Are you worried about it? Not really. It's like you said, what are the odds, right? Exactly. See, Reed? Chill about the space rock. We're here to play, right? Uh, actually, we've got to pick out what we want to play first. Let's do it. Trish! Trish, it's happening! What? Rosa! Finally! I'll be right there! Wait, wh where are you going? The roof! It's happening! They seem too happy for it to be the asteroid. But maybe... True? I'm gonna go check it out. You coming? Obviously. Nope, not a giant space rock. Yeah, but what is it? I created a new species. The Rosa Fern, no. Ferntasma, no. Fern and up. Sick fern, dude. Uh. Feel the fern. Fernando? Yes! Living fern! Mmm. Copernicus. Phenomenon. <clears throat> Weird fern. I know. It's not for looks, but just to show colleges that I know about grafting and interspecies selective cell regeneration. We learned about this because I was looking into plants for Mango's tank. See? This part down here is the rootstock, and this is the scion. This particular rootstock is famously resistant to velvet worms who will, ordinarily, eat the shit out of almost any plant like the adorable monsters they are. So take that rootstock and add a vulnerable plant to scion and BOOM! Bug-proof leaves, baby! Okay, okay, so should it be called mango fern? Mango fern! Mango fern! <laughs> nice. 
Um, I'm really excited for Battle of the Bands. It's gonna be great. Set. Me too. And Ellen out tonight, right? What are we gonna do about Kev? I guess I'll just have to marry him. Never. Hmm. Officiating an LNL wedding would be cool, but Kef would still totally kill you. <gasps> My guitar! Oh, I left it in the music room. See you tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna go too. That plant thing is freaking me out. I know I'm biased, but you're my favorite band in the battle. Like, hands down. Thanks. That's, um, that's really cool of you to say. I know things are gonna work out for your music, Fang. You've got something really special. Yeah. And your plant is... A crime against nature. No. No. No? <laughs> it actually looks kind of awesome, so get ready. Bright future, big dreams, everything Roberts is always talking about. You know, I'm going to stay up here. Oh. Are you... I think Coach Connor actually appreciates it when I skip P.E. See you at LNL. See ya. Hey, what did I miss? Can I talk to you for a sec? So, remember that entomology program I was talking about? That's it. That's my plan. I mean, I know, I just did tendrils and just got mango, but I've been thinking about how we were always kind of into worms and stuff, even as kids. We had that comic, we named our band Worm Drama, all those weird costumes. <laughs> my mom still isn't over the dress incident. So <laughs> worth it. Anyway. <laughs> I think this is what I want to do. Bugs and worms. But like, for a job. Forever. <sighs> it feels really good when I say it out loud. So, like, what do you think? Um, yeah, yeah, you seem really happy about it, so that's great. I can totally see you as a bug doctor or whatever. Yeah! Bugologist! Anyway, you know how Rosa made that whole plant thing for college applications? Turns out you pretty much have to do something big like that to even get noticed by most schools. I'm working on this way to restore velvet worm habitats by turning trash into food for them, but it's gonna take a lot of hours with mango, and about a dozen different types of compost heaps, to check all the variables and allow time for propagation, and... I think I need a break from the band for a while. The Battle of the Bands is going to be my last show. Say something? Um... Just, just... <laughs> you will not! Kef is mine! Maybe we can share him? You guys, he's evil! Adventurers, this way, this way. So you're just done? For now. For now. I just want to focus on my future. Well, what about our future? Ah, uh, oi! Ali! You ready to conquer this quest? Hell yes! I'm ready to kick some Praxis butt! Faye? You ready? Join us, Dark One! Yeah. Okay. Let's play.
right, everyone have their snacks all set up? Okay, okay, here we go. Previously on LNL, the party joined by the newly recovered Dark One struck out into the Crystal Caves in search of Kef, the strikingly handsome leader of the Cult of Praxis. Charging into battle, possibly spurred on by the cultist gyrations, the party attacked Kef and the golem he created and defeated him. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ritual succeeded. Hmm, <laughs> the crystal axe of fortitude. Yes! With some convincing, the party worked together, and Ali used the axe to free the party and return to the airship. And, in a very tragic turn, Kef was felled. Mm, I won't comment on that. I will, however, remind you that after his alleged untimely passing, he also let you know about a hidden temple in the Ocean of Sand, and a fabled god-killing weapon said to lie in the misty mangroves. You've been quiet, Faye. What say you to all this? Vagrant heads out to the Ocean of Sand, in search of the Lost Temple. The trek will be long and arduous. Okay, Jeff and Linnea begin exploring. 
Linnea, with your excellent search skill, you notice a small glow coming off a rock. Just a bunch of sand. There are some small runes giving off this glow. They're quite small. How hard are you focusing on them? And what languages do you know? Yeah, you can't read it. Yeah. <sighs> Fine, you can read it. Quicksand. At this point, you're about waist deep. Everyone rushes over. All right, you're able to breathe just fine, and you continue sinking. Then your sinking turns into falling. As you drop down, you land on a platform. The roiling quicksand above you is a lit, swirling gold. In front of you, you see a set of doors. The ceiling of the temple is made of glowing sand, which casts golden light over everything. A large spiral stairway leads down, the sandy steps sparkling and glittering. Set into the wall on the way down are these massive reliefs, murals made of glowing sand. The murals are inlaid with the lightning-touched glass that reflects and changes color. Each mural depicts a figure. One figure is clad in dark robes, and their hands come together at their stomach, holding a crystal ball. Another figure stands tall, their arms outstretched. A spear laid across their palms, held upwards to the heavens. The final figure sits cross-legged, and above their head a pale sword hangs, defying gravity, pointing down at their skull. As you pass through the threshold, you enter a large open space. The room itself looks to be two stories tall, with four columns distributed around the space. The perimeter of the hall is a curtain of slowly shifting sand. The air in here is very stale. It's quiet, save for the gentle whoosh of the sand cascading down the walls. In the center of the room, there's a large altar, made of the same glowing, translucent glass as you saw in the murals. As you draw closer, you see... Uh, let me just find what I wrote... Ah, here it is. The altar is a massive triangular plinth of glass that has a dull glow from within, but the surface is polished, so it's almost a mirror. On each of three sides is an intricately carved image, and lying on top 
is an ancient skeleton wearing a gleaming set of polished plate armor. One of the skeleton's arms is outstretched toward the ceiling. In the other is a large sword. There are scorch marks under the skeleton. On one of the sides, there is an image of a skull. On another, there is a pictograph of a winged animal. On the third, there is an image of a hand. Do you place your hand in the sand? Do you? You touch your symbol, and the rest of you feel a deep vibration in your chest as Linnea casts the spell and a small disk of light appears above the skeleton. You all feel your breath slightly leave your body as the disc enlarges and plunges into the skeleton. It gasps and slowly sits up. The skeleton cocks its head, staring at you. It raises its sword at you. I know what it says. Everyone, roll initiative. <laughs> Anea, you're first, then Faye, then Jeff. The skeleton is advancing on you. What do you do? skeleton lurches forward, grabbing you by the front of your clothes and raising its sword menacingly. You get the sense that it does not have good feelings towards nurturing parental figures. No. All right, you're up, Faye. Your side smashes into the skeleton with a cloud of bone dust, knocking one of its arms off at the shoulder and breaking a few ribs. How good is your aim? In that case, the spoon sails through the air and straight through its ribs and out the other side, taking a big chunk with it. skeleton staggers around with you on its head for a moment, and then throws you off, roaring. The 
The skeleton raises its arm and grasps its face with its gauntlet, and then yanks. It gets flung out of the armor, landing in a mangled heap at your feet. The gauntlets, greaves, and bracers fall away, leaving a glowing curious that floats in the air. Oh, it's the chest part of the armor. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, I've only ever read that word. Anyway... Faye, you're standing near the altar as this happens, and as you look in its mirrored surface, you seem to notice your reflection moving slightly. As you stare, glowing eyes burst out from your reflection scales. Ugh, now what are we supposed to do? Who is Mammoth? Mm, I hate it when he texts people. Come on, Faye. Tell us. Are you sure? You don the armor. As soon as you do, it constricts suddenly, fusing into your skin. A huge wave of energy bursts outward as everyone but Linnea is knocked off their feet. The sand columns in the room explode outward. You all feel the ground quaking as massive pieces of the ceiling fall and explode in sprays of sand. As this is happening, Linnea, you hear a quiet voice echo in your head. Yeah, 
You watch as Linnea begins levitating upwards. A huge piece of ceiling lands on the altar, and it explodes in shards of glass. You all grab on as more chunks smash downward. The suit lurches to the side, plunging into the veil of sand on the wall. You are all momentarily blinded, but the sand feels warm around you, like calm water. Then, your stomachs lurch as you feel yourself rocket upward. You burst out of the sand, hurtling high above the dunes, until you all come arcing down onto the deck of the Vagrant. You all retire to your quarters and turn in. But Faye, you spend some time struggling to fall asleep. And when you finally do, you're suddenly awoken by a light in your eyes. You open them. Does someone have a torch? No, it's coming from outside. You open the door to the deck and step out. You hear it before you see it. A slow whine. A whisper coming from this light in the sky. You hear something coming. A whisper tickling at the base of your spine. A single word. Cataclysm. Something zips onto the deck beside you. It's a small piece of hail, sizzling. Then zip, zip, zip. More start coming down around you. Then come the screams. The burning hail rains down, tearing through the ship. Everyone is panicking, running. It's chaos. You see Sid and Celeste turn and run full speed off the deck, holding hands as they fall. The light wakes out. For an eternity, everything is quiet. Then on the horizon, you see the sunrise. Rays of crimson light crawl across the sky. The whole sky is a dazzling red. It's so peaceful. But your gut knows better. This isn't sunlight. Sunlight doesn't smell like ash. The sky is on fire. You hear the roar now, and your world explodes in pain. The sound is deafening. It's so hot. It's so inescapably hot. Why won't it just end? When you wake up, in your bed, on the ship. You glance over at the mirror, but you don't see Faye. You see a shadow. A shadow with a burning red smile that whispers, Hello, Faye. Miss me. And that is where we will end tonight's session. Um, that was... Oof. Reed, dude, what the heck was that last bit? Yeah, that vision you gave Faye was... ominous. Things are reaching their conclusion. Time's almost up. Hey, Trish, can we talk? Sure, but it, it's kind of late, though. Gotta go feed Mango. 
Sage, walk me home, my cook with the left hook. We'll talk later. Battle of the Bands is gonna be epic. See ya! Good evening. Our top story tonight, the latest on the asteroid scientists are predicting will make a close pass to the planet. Good Officials continue to say there is little danger posed by this once-in-a-generation astrological event, with most projections showing the space rock missing impact by a margin of 20 to 30 percent. But one local amateur astronomer is raising alarm with new self-published trajectories that show a much higher chance of impact from this massive object. funny. It's not the day of a big thing that makes you nervous. It's the day before. Ugh. Get out of my head. How's it going with you? It's going. You? Blech. BOTB tomorrow? Right? Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. I remember, cuz... Well... I could draw your poster from memory. I saw so many of them when I uh, collected them from school. So, effective marketing. Ah, uh, funny. Anyway, sorry for being a narc. How's the show prep going? Mm. We are as ready as we'll ever be, I guess. I just keep thinking of everything that could go wrong. Like breaking a guitar string. Well, I wasn't until you said that. No, I mean, like the part where we have to get in front of a bunch of people and not suck. Oh. And what if you do? I'd probably die. I get like this sometimes. I think everybody does. I got an idea. We do this sometimes in drama to work out stage fright. I am not doing a trust fall. No, not that. Just focus on your breathing. Now, put your hands on your hips, like your Captain Triassic. Come on, a real power stance, like this.
Now, you won. Why did you win? I guess... Playing together is kind of amazing. And people can tell we're having a good time. Huh. Hey! I'm sorry for blowing up at you the other day. I was being kind of a dick. I really do appreciate you, Lil Bro. I know. We're family. Whether you like it or not. So, I'm here to help. Okay. She's my best friend. We've talked about stuff before. And I know what I want to say. I just have to actually say it. Listen, Trish. Morning, Fang. Pretty day, right? I can't believe the sky could be hiding something so bad. You know? Sorry, I've had a lot of coffee. I get free beans at Lava Java. I should stop talking. Yeah, you totally go into a caffeine fugue state. So, I'm basically her chaperone right now. Sure. Anything for a friend, right? I'm glad you're wired, Rosa. I barely slept last night. Mango keep you up with her chewing again? I've gotten used to that. <laughs> no, just life. Hey, did I tell you Dad's out of town again? Anyway, it's been a lot. Between studying and practicing and momming. I know, but I think it's great you decided to stick it out to the battle. You kept saying you wanted to go out with a bang, and now you get to. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah. The battle's gonna be great. But it's, it's just the beginning. I mean, for worm drama. Yeah, totally. I know I'm leading for a while, but it's gonna be okay. Chop a worm in half and you get two worms. I mean, that's us. Two halves of the same worm just wriggling along, doing our wormy things. It's gonna be totally fine. Hey, uh, whatever happened to that person who was texting you? Oh yeah, your mystery missives. Um... We actually get along. It's kind of wild. <laughs> Keep us posted. I'm so curious. I better grab my books. <laughs> See you later. So? I kind of thought you wanted to talk when you texted me. Yeah, I did. I do. Always. Everything's nuts right now, but I don't want that to mean we don't hang out. Right. Just you and me. And Rosa. Uh, yeah, that was an accident. Rosa's really great, though. Promise. She likes you. She's cool, but, um, could we make some time for just the two of us, though? 
Heck yeah, anytime you want. Well, not any anytime, but y you know what I mean. Okay, so ritual tonight? Uh, I gotta babysit tonight. Right. Well, maybe we can do it the day of the show? I, I guess that could work. <laughs> well, see you tomorrow, I guess? <laughs> of course. See ya. Nasser? Hey, Sib. I'm working late on yearbook stuff with Naomi. Nice pick, by the way. There's some sesame noodles in the fridge for you. Just heat them up with a little oil. Hey, mom and dad are calling. Right now? Yep, come on. <sighs> They're coming right now. Hello? Sakne, there you are. It's good to see you. Nasra said you've been working a lot. Is that why you look so tired? Ugh. I miss you too, Mom. I hope so. Listen, your mother and I have decided to come back tomorrow. That early? It's all this news about the meteor. Asteroid. What's the difference? Doesn't matter. Same impact. Very funny, Nasser. Hey, guess what Fang's doing tonight? What? What are you doing? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Their band made it into this huge music competition. Only a few acts made it this far, and it would be huge if they won. Like, career in music huge. Interesting. I never had a talent for music. I tried, in college, you know? I remember. Unfortunately for me. So, what? You win money or something? Not exactly. It's... bigger than that. Winning basically means we made it, so... Mm-hmm. Who else will be there? Patricia? Well, she's in the band, so, yeah. I like her. You should invite her for supper when we get back. Don't forget, hmm? I don't want to come home to a house that looks like a robbery happened. 
Fatme, you especially. Be good. You especially. Ha <laughs> ha. Laugh it up, funny guy. Guess I shouldn't tell them I'm releasing a comedy album. Ha. <laughs> I don't think they'd survive. I've been a bad influence on you. Well, I guess the age of freedom has come to an end. Honestly, I was starting to miss them. This is the last of the gear. You nervous? I hope I don't jinx it, but yeah. You're going to kill it. Good luck. See you there? Yeah, see ya. Wait. Seriously? Just one second. Huh? You packed me a lunch? More like an early dinner. Thanks, Dad. Got to have something in your stomach to puke out from all the nerves. Now, good luck. Hello, hello. Hello, dearest lead singer. So, it's going to be fine. I know. I mean, no. I don't. We could completely bomb. It is going to be fine. We should have practiced more. L let's go over the set list one more time. Fang, bro. Dude. We got this. You got this. We're in. Like LJ likes us and honestly, we rule. The hard part is over. It's time for the have fun and blow everyone's minds part. Which I'm personally excited about. <laughs> Remember when you booked us at that retirement place? Um, you mean the Shady Palms retirement community from which we are banned for life? <laughs> yeah. I still think that was one of our best shows. Oh, yeah, it was. Lucky nobody died. See? We've been touching people's lives with our music for years. Just think, when we started, you and I are basically the same height. Now look at us. <laughs> We're like actual complete people now. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I can play way more than four bar chords. I can play all the chords. And you, you've become like this musical wizard. Dark mage. And you are also here. Yep. Seriously. <laughs> you guys are in all my best memories. Yeah. I know. Man. It's real. Yeah. It's the end for now. Hey. We've still got one more worm drama memory to make. Yeah, we do. I suddenly feel extremely cool and capable. Mm, yep. Ooh, this is legit. Never seen so many bards in one place before. Hey, rock stars! Is this wild or what? I finally get to see worm drama in its natural habitat. Even got some VIPs waiting for a meet and greet before sound check. Please, please, no autographs. Too bad, I'm gonna need one. Don't worry, you guys have got this. Seriously. First of all, you look incredible. Second of all, I think they picked the winner based on how loud the audience is. And I drank hot tea all day so I can cheer extra loud all night. 
Seriously, we've been scoping out the competition, and you really don't have anything to worry about. Well, <laughs> crisis averted! I believe in you. There's a ton of bands here, but none of them are the worm drama. <clears throat> Thanks. Gotta support my work. Hey, you got any plans this summer? We're gonna need a tour manager. Sign me up. Wanna draw a card? See how it'll go? Can you guarantee a good omen? No, no can do. I promised a witch I wouldn't touch tarot cards for five more years. Okay... Then you're up, Fang. Can't hurt, I guess. This happens. But it's actually good, right? That's what you were gonna say. Please? Well, kind of. I mean, something is definitely going to die. Or end. We're gonna murder the swamp babies! Ah, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. You were born for this, Trish. Vanquish our enemies. I mean, it all sounds like whatever happens, you'll be okay with it. 100%. I get how it seems scary, but the card is really talking about how ready you are for something good. Oh, hey! Naomi! You think she's okay? She's giving off a lot of worried librarian energy right now. Naomi! She'll be fine. We've gotta go. See y'all from the stage, baby! No worm drama! <sighs> Look at them. Seriously, why are they so popular? I hate to say it, but they know how to play. Fang? It's true. They're like, technically good. I mean, not good good, but, you know. Catchy hooks, watered down alt boy aesthetic. Yeah. People eat that shit up. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's happening! E of the bees! It's drama clock! Uh, well, why are my fingers so slippery? Wait, what's a guitar? <laughs> what is music really? Like when you stop to think about it. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh shit! Wait, what's happening? Worm drama, right? That's right. Wanna fight about it? Uh, not really. Anyway, yeah, nice. My little cousin said your posters were up all over the high school. It's awesome that LJ lets kids compete. Kids? 
Teens? Teens? We are in fact teens, Trish. You're Fang? Um, yes. LJ says you have a pretty sick voice. We've been playing around with something, like, really different for backup vocals on our new stuff. Maybe you should come down to the studio sometime. Could be good exposure, you know? Ha, we're good, thanks. Yeah, super good. Well, <laughs> think about it. We had 80,000 lessons last month. Probably gonna tour again soon. Oh, and hey, looks like we're on right before you. Good luck out there. Yeah, you have fun. Nice one, T. Those dudes truly suck. Could be good for exposure. <laughs> Buzz off, dick. Yeah, gross. Now we have to win. Even harder than we were already going to. Cheers to that. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. We're gonna win and we're gonna play Caldera Fest. And we're gonna get like a billion listens. Take that, Trant. Hey, hey. Hey, yourself. A lot of people out there. A lot of future worm drama fans. Or a lot of booers. Booing ones. Ones, ones that boo. This doesn't seem like a booing type crowd. Uh, says Mr. Never Been Booed. You've seen my speeches. I have definitely been booed. Okay, me booing you does not count. Oh my god. We gotta stop saying boo. Listen. You're going to be great. All three of you are. You're only here because you've kept going every step of the way, no matter what. It's no different here. Trust me, once you're up there, it's going to hit you. This is your moment. The first of many your moments. Time to face the music. Ah, oh, you got so far too. Gotta be me. Remember when you taught me piano chords? Wow, I forgot all about that. And think about it a lot. Teach these assholes a thing or two. Okay, this is it. Band meeting. Huh? Now? Yeah. I just want to say... I'm in the best band in the world. Who? Us? Definitely. Going on, the power went out. Oh, God, do you think it's the meteor? Probably, but this place is also like a million years old. Hey, can I get some power to my amp over here? I kind of feel bad for them. One, two, three, four. And we're up. You good? You're good. We are good. We're good. Next up, a young band who really impressed me this year. They've got talent, they've got style, they've got two guitars. Welcome, newcomers to the battle, Worm
bucket.
I hardly need to say anything, do I? I give you our winners of the Battle of the Bands. Worm Drawer! dramatic and cool and powerful and yeah! And Fang was like, Fang, holy shit, dude. You pulled up a solo in the dark. That was amazing. Classic dark one. Thanks, guys. God, if we did that well in a power outage, imagine how we're gonna do on tour. We're gonna crush it. Oh, right, about that. Fang, I need to tell you something kind of important. Yeah? What's up? I wanted to talk to you about touring this summer. I just... So, you know how a while back I said I wanted to go on a break from... Worm drama. Our champions. Congrats on a killer performance, kids. You blew everyone away. In the dark, no less. Anyway, as you know, winners of the battle go to Caldera Fest. But I wanted to come and personally confirm it. You in? Yes, yes. We are so in. Glad to hear it. I'll let you celebrate. Great show. Um... Are you guys all right? Like, did something just happen? What's wrong? Aren't we celebrating? Yes, totally. We are celebrating. That was amazing, right? Fang? I'm happy for you. Really. For us. But I don't think we're on the same page about Caldera Fest. What do you mean? This is what we've always wanted. We finally proved ourselves to LJ, to everyone. We're doing it. What? What is it? This is our chance to do what we love. That's what you love, Fang. You never asked what we wanted. Okay, then tell me. What is it that you want? I shouldn't have to tell you, Fang. Is it too much to expect you to ask? To even care? I do care. Then why have you never noticed what I wanted? Trish, I... How long have you felt like this? Does it even matter at this point? Fang, you refuse to see anything you don't want. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Isn't it, though? At least I'm upfront about what I want. This whole time, you still haven't told me anything. What do you even want? I have other friends, Fang. If all I do is rehearse for what you want, I won't have any time to see them. <laughs> you mean... One other friend. I know Caldera Fest means a lot to you. And I don't want to take that away from you. I just need time of my own. Maybe you could do Caldera Fest as a solo act. What? You could totally pull it off. And LJ's obviously in your corner now, so... No way. How could you even suggest that? Um, hello? <laughs> You killed it on stage before Reed and I joined you. Obviously you got the skills. You don't really need us up there with you. The only reason I was able to do all of that was because I knew that you and Reed were gonna pack me up. You have always had my back. Why are you leaving right when it matters the most? Okay, come on, let- When have you ever had my back, Faye? We've always done what you wanted to do, and that's fine. But- there's only so much time we have left. I can't spend the rest of it following along after you. I need to think of myself too.
thing. Hey, superstar. Oh, too bright. Oh, my eyes. Somebody get the power again. Bane, you guys were amazing. For real. Chills. Ah, it was magical. Oh, by the way, I saw Trish and Reed pop out earlier. Ah! I can't believe they ditched their biggest fans in their hour of triumph. They must have known you were going to make them sign your face. Um, sorry, I, I just remembered I had plans to go meet someone after the show. Uh, plans? To meet someone? And? What about it? In that case, just to help you prepare. Ugh. Knock it off, you two. Anyway, if you see Trish and Reed, tell them there are faces to be signed here. Yeah, sure, uh, will do. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, hey Naomi. I, I was just looking for somebody. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> uh, thanks for meeting me. <laughs> wait, wait, you're the... Yep, yeah, it's, it's me. Surprise! Uh, um, anyway, you guys were amazing. I mean, I knew you were good, but tonight was something special. Oh, thanks. It was fun. I mean, it was more than fun, I hope. You've been waiting for this for so long. It was incredible. Thing. Are you okay? I... A lot happened after the show. Like, a lot. With Trish and Reed. Honestly... I don't think I'm ready to talk about... Us. This. Not yet. Oh. I mean, that's fine. I promise I'm not trying to avoid you. I just need some time to process this and, and everything else. Wait for me? Sure. We can talk later. Naomi, I... It's fine. I'm used to waiting for you. I told you you'd win. Need a ride? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Cool. I'm parked over there.
Show was intense, huh? I guess you haven't talked to Trish. Take my mind nope. To Feels too weird right now. Like, are we even still friends? Huh. Only one way to find out. So, is LNL still on for this weekend? Dude, I wish. I'm pretty sure LNL is dead as hell. Hard enough to get the group together in the good times. With all this, and all that, I'm pretty sure it's good as done. I don't think you should just give up on it, though. There's not much a DM can do without a group, dude. Personally, I can't think of anything I'd rather do than mess around in a fantasy world. Laughing, crying, making stupid jokes, seduction rolls, whatever. That's a real escape. I think we need that right now. I agree. But it doesn't really work if you're on your own. I guess I knew things would get bad. But I thought we'd at least stick it out together. <sighs> yeah. Me too. Sounds like you fucked up. Your friends wanted different things. You should have known that. Uh, yeah. I think maybe a part of me knew. I just didn't want it to be true. Where are you gonna go from here? I don't know. Trish did say I could go solo, I, I guess. No. Fang, hold up and look around you for a second. I'm trying. Fang. You've got skills and the making of something great, but you're better with your band. Happier with them. That means way more than making it big on your own. <laughs> what, too soft for you? Listen, if I was in this business for profit alone, I'd sign you as a solo act and ship you out on an apocalypse tour yesterday. There's a reason I stayed in this town and why I look for talent in kids like you. It's about community. Nothing's worth doing till the end of all things if you don't have people to share it with. When it comes down to it, I'd rather have people I love with me when the meteor hits than piles of money and whatever else comes with making it. And I think you would too, Fang. I don't know if that's possible anymore, though. I think I ruined everything. Fang, Trish so loves you. You know that, right? It's not the end of the world. Yet. Well, I'll tell you what, you are so lucky I already had an extra character sheet for him. <laughs> like you haven't been planning this as soon as I agreed to play? I admit nothing. Whatever. 
Thanks for agreeing to it, though. I, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. We could use some fun. So... We ready to kick some Braxis butt? Yeah. Ready as we'll ever be, I guess. All right, almighty DM. Take us away. Okay. Here we are. Previously on LNL, with a stunning and heartfelt montage, the party crossed the endless desert in search of the lost temple hidden within the ocean of sand. After that happy accident, the party explored the ruins of the temple and eventually stumbled across a skeleton clad in mysterious armor. Linnea tried to resurrect the skeleton, but ultimately resurrected the armor, who introduced itself as the Anima, the long since sealed away protector of the Tome of the Forgotten. Mm-hmm. The armor fused with you. While also helping Faye realize something. In the last moments of our previous session, Faye, you had a vision. In it, you saw a sky lit on fire, and a voice amidst the blaze. Braxis, calling out to you. Time has passed since our last session. The crew of the Vagrant has been traveling, preparing for their final confrontation. We are in it. The hulking metal frame of the airship cuts through the thick atmosphere, clouds and fog mixing together in a soupy haze. You all look up and see a swirling tempest in the distance, the source of the crimson glow. It's a whirlwind, a portal being opened, a doorway halfway stepped through. And then a sudden clap of thunder erupts from the vortex and sends the vagrant crashing to the ground at its feet. Yeah, oh yeah, everyone's all right. The ship, however, is downed. One moment, let me just... There we go. You all approach the spinning tempest, your teeth gritted. Is there anything anyone wants to do or say before we get into this? I don't think so. We're ready, right? As much as we'll ever be. Yeah, let's kick some ass. All right. All right. As you get closer, you begin to make out a form at the center of the storm. A massive figure, their body glistening like a diamond. Braxis. Faye, you hear his voice in your head suddenly. What do you do? There is no response. With the right intonation, you hear a response. Shit, uh, okay. Roll for initiative.
The buff is actually an extra 5 damage on your next attack. Maya, before you can take your attack, Braxis points at you, and a searing pain erases over your skin. You barely manage to hold on to your staff. 10 damage. Nice, 13 damage. Your blade makes a cool slashing sound as you cut through the air and hit for a good chunk of slashing damage. You're up next, Ollie. Hell yeah, great damage on that. But roll to see if your guitar breaks. Maya, Braxis turns on you again. You hear his voice in your head now. You become paralyzed, locked to the spot, and you cannot feel your magic energy when you reach out for it. Did you, did you just make that up just now? Okay. Divine Smite is holy damage, so it's extra effective. He clutches his chest and drops to his knees. Out, you hear his voice. <laughs> Suddenly, Braxis reaches out, his hand moving like lightning. Too fast to dodge. He taps his finger against your forehead, Faye. And then you remember. It comes in flashes, not whole pictures. Almost like you're watching a movie. Like all this happened to someone else. You see a younger version of yourself. You see a family. And you watch yourself enter into the service of Braxis. You remember now how you decided one day to deny your teacher. How you rebelled. And as punishment, you remember the day he stole your past. Your memories. Your family. Your brother. <clears throat> and hold on. Give us one second for this next part. Fang. <laughs> Reed, what are you up to? Nothing. Fang? 
Oh, I'll let him reveal it. Ah, uh, have you two been scheming? Maybe, yeah, just a bit. Everyone, we have a special guest joining us tonight. You want to come in? It is I. Hey, everyone. No way! Shut up! Oh, Stella's gonna be so jealous! Nah, sir! My dude! Oh my god, yay! Ah, yes, yes, yes. Exactly the reaction I wanted. Don't worry. You just kind of go along with what everyone says. It'll be fun. Cool. Yeah, that character sheet was amazing. You're gonna be so good at this, holy smokes! Why didn't I think of this before? Nice move. Thanks. I just wanted him to have some fun. Okay, okay, back in the game. Uh, hold on, let me remember where I was. <clears throat> He snaps his fingers, and with a sudden flare of flame, someone appears before you. You all recognize him immediately. Braxis rises up, also transforming. There is a clap of thunder, and his body becomes painted by the red light. He hurls a bolt of lightning at you, which you barely dodge. He throws another bolt! It's very immature. He readies another volley. But you all take cover before it hits. Thank you. 
Hell yeah, man. You're a natural at this. How you two think. But no, you do get healed for 11 damage, though. You see Braxis's halo start spinning faster and faster, and then it suddenly flies out and slashes the people closest to him. That looks like Faye. Kef and Ollie, you all take 12 damage as a searing pain runs across your chest. Maya, you're up. Roll to see if you catch it or totally fumble, just for funsies. Braxis wraps his wings around his head to buffer against your attack, but your sound wave rips handfuls of feathers out as it rolls into him. Once the air calms, he opens his wings back up and blasts you back ten feet. Braxis looks truly shaken for the first time. Portal Braxis came through begins to. Shit. The portal shits? No, Sage. It does not shit. These are getting a lot more frequent. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. Back to the game? Uh. Sure, where were we? Um, uh, the portal Braxis came through begins to turn in on itself, pulling him back inside. Ollie's right. The portal continues collapsing, but suddenly, you feel it start to pull at you. It isn't. The vortex twirls violently, growing as it consumes matter. 
Around you, light begins to bend, and everything begins breaking down. portal lets out a howl, and underneath your feet, gravity has inverted. You rise, your feet floating through the air. The portal sucks you in, and then closes like a zipper behind you. And that's it. Behind you, the portal closes, sealing yourselves and Braxis away. For a long time, you drift through the void, dreaming. You see glimpses of memories, happy moments, loose ends you never got to resolve. Eventually, though, you start to lose grip. It becomes too hard to hold on to yourselves in the Tempest. You have to let go. And so you do. You all, one by one, let yourself go in the portal. I wish I could tell you where you end up, but I don't know. I like to think it's somewhere nice, though. What I do know is that the world you left behind was saved. People will live and die happy lives, in peace, because of what you all did. They won't remember you, or even know you existed but they'll be there because of you. Beyond that, though, I'm not sure. My guess is as good as yours. That's it. The end, I guess. So, that's it? We died? Dead, dead? Like, no, no coming back. No plot twist. Yeah. Yeah. The story ends here. Well... It was a great session, Reed. Thanks for hosting us. Later, guys. Bye. I better get going, too. Bye, guys. This was... fun. I'm gonna text Stella about the reveal. She'll be so jealous. See ya! Well, that... didn't go as planned. Not to. Your entrance was perfect. You killed it. And then you killed us, Reed. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. Hard to think of a good ending right now. At least y'all went out together. it with a song. What's up? You're so dramatic. It's what gives me my sparkle. It kinda is. 
Thanks for coming, though. I was nearby. Saves me from falling down another hole of Doomsday videos when I get home. Like, did you know Solid Rock can liquefy if you hit it hard enough? Ah, I do now. Hey, at least when it happens, you won't be surprised. Uh, yeah. That's kind of my whole personality. Hey, look. About everything. I... We're interrupting! Hello! Hey, y'all. It's good to see you. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, the usual. Uh, lying face down on the floor. <laughs> I've been flying a lot, actually. Oh, yeah? See anything cool? Actually, yeah. Hey! I'm glad you came. Me too. Um, Nasser gave me a lift. He was... I think it's good you invited him. you get here? I've been here the whole time. Okay. Well, you're welcome. It's nice that you're here. <laughs> hey, everybody. I, uh, I kind of have something to say. I was messing with some music earlier, and I thought I could say it with a song or something, but, um, well, it's like, I guess I just wanted to, um, okay, look. You guys are my best friends. Every time things get weird, we're still here. And now, stuff is really, really messed up. And I don't think it's just gonna go back to normal. But you all answered my text. And we're still here. Whatever happens, even if nothing is ever okay again, I want us to be okay. I don't want us to give up on each other. Ever. I... I love you guys. Wait, did you just heal us with the power of friendship? I mean, I don't feel worse. <laughs> I don't know. You're weird, but you're brave. Things are crazy right now. It's okay if we're a little crazy sometimes too. And I had this feeling we'd end up here. I just didn't know how. You did that. To being okay. To being less than great, but more than dead. Here, here. You're funny. He's funny. How come you've kept us apart so long? Yeah, Sib. Why do you keep me locked in the basement? Dude, I don't even know you. <laughs> now all I need is to be a permanent LNL member. Dude, was that even a question? You totally stole the show last session. My dear Kef. Why are you looking at me like that? Bang, help. You got yourself into this. You got me into this. Oh, right. Well, 
I don't care. Ah, mages. Am I right? Even if it's for an independent film, if I never see a guy make out with a weight bench ever again, it'll be the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, anyway, I have his number if anyone's looking for a weird time. You find the worst guys. Maybe Fang can get him to direct one of their music videos. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> I can see it, actually. Was that mom on the phone? <laughs> Why? So you can narc about us drinking beer? I was just asking. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? It doesn't seem like nothing. Well, it's about Caldera Fest. I think Caldera Fest just imploded. What do you mean? LJ just called it off. Something about, you know, the end of the world. Oh, Fang, I'm sorry figures. Sorry, man. You've been killing yourself over this. That's not fair. Yeah. Sucks, dude. It's weird. I feel like I should be more upset than I am. I mean, I'm not thrilled, but I'm also weirdly, like, at peace. It's all I've thought about for a year, and right now, I'm just relieved you guys are here. Yeah, I mean, Caldera Fest doesn't... Keep me honest when I mess up, but love me anyway. Who needs the future when you have all your friends in the present, right? Seriously? This was your big thing. How can you say it, it just doesn't matter? How are we supposed to just... be fine? What else are we gonna do? It's not like we can stop it. I know, but that doesn't... That doesn't mean we can pretend everything is okay! No one's pretending, Naomi. Yeah, there are some things that just can't be changed. Better to accept reality for what it is. No point in getting upset about it. Maybe for you guys, but some of us had plans for the future! Excuse me? Guys! It's easy for you guys to give up on everything, but I... I had so much planned. I have so many things I've worked on that I'll never get to see. What? You think you're the only one? Sage isn't gonna get to be a chef. Fang isn't getting Caldera Fest. Yeah, but what about you? Were you planning on letting the cards choose a career for you? Naomi, are you actually talking about a career right now? There's way more to life. Easy for you to say. Some people want more from life than deliveries and board games. Whoa, cool it. You of all people should understand where I'm coming from, Trish. Yeah, but I care more about my friends than my career. What? You had no problems letting your career get between us. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 
You avoid me all the time. And the world is gonna end any fucking day now. <sighs> That's rich coming from you. You're like the most avoidant person I know. You need to cool down. Fine, whatever. Now that your dream is canceled, I guess we should all just accept our fates. Oh, fuck off, Naomi. Hey, mind if I sit? Go for it. How are you feeling right now? Oh, like shit. <laughs> Makes sense. That was pretty rough. Mm. Understatement of the decade. H how are you doing? Honestly? Honestly. Not great. Things are kind of rough with my family right now. That sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, at least I have my supportive and emotionally balanced friends to help me work through it, right? <sighs> sorry. It's fine. I'm just teasing. What's going on with your family? Well, things have already been tense for a while. Like, not since I came out to them. My parents have come around. They've been great, but, you know, how, like... Cultural barriers are a thing that makes it hard to get to know your family. When you grow up in a different place than they do, that gap only widens when you're trans. Yeah, I have definitely been there. My parents are dealing, but there are a ton of cousins and, and relatives that I'll never really know. I don't think it'll ever be safe for me to come and visit them. And before I came out, I had to, like, weigh that. If transitioning is worth losing my family and my family's culture. Exactly. That's kind of what's happening for me right now. Since everything's ending, my parents are trying to figure out how we can see family again. Or if we want to be with them when it hits. And I bet the whole gender thing doesn't help. Yeah. There are some parts of the family that don't want me with them as I am right now. And I think I'd rather be with people who do. I'm really glad I know you, Fang. I wish we had more time. I'm glad I know you too, Rosa. Sucks that you were just second grade volcano girl to me for so long. <laughs> oh my god, I know. <laughs> that volcano's gonna follow me to the grave. <laughs> I don't know. I wish we had more time too. But I I'm glad we had time together at all. And it, it doesn't feel like we're missing connections, if that makes sense. We know each other better than that, at least. Yeah. I feel like we've been friends forever. Is that weird? Hmm. Kinda. I mean, I just hear so much about you and read from Trish. Really? Huh. I figured you two would just be in bug mode the whole time. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of that. But Trish has a lot to say about everything. Especially you. Ooh, I hope it's not all bad. Ask Trish yourself. I'm not telling. I will. Thanks, Rose.
Hey, is is she? Don't know. I decided to give her some space. You might have better luck, though. Got it. Yeah, I'll I'll do that in a bit. Never thought I'd see Naomi go off on someone like that. Ugh. Me neither. Never thought I'd see you tell her to fuck off either. Ugh. I can't believe I said that. Neither can I. Naomi is gonna hate me forever. Probably. She's gonna dance on my grave. Most likely. She is gonna save the whole planet from the meteor with her super science brain and then choose to leave me behind and watch me get flattened. Yep, all that and more. You're not great at this whole reassurance thing, Nasser. Oh, is that what we were doing? I thought we were wallowing in much deserved guilt after you cussed out my best friend. I didn't mean to say it. I didn't want to hurt her. You never do, but it keeps happening. She's liked you for a while, Sib. She's not exactly subtle. Maybe you never cared enough to notice. Hey. And has always been your priority. It's easy to get left behind. Not just Naomi, either. Oh. I'm sorry, Nasser. It's fine. Well, it's not. But I kept myself busy, so was in a total abyss of despair. Yeah, no, I've got dibs on the abyss. If you want in, you gotta pay rent. Seriously, though, I, I had no idea you felt this way. Even if I never noticed, you hide it pretty well. Hmm. Skills acquired for many years of being the good child and keeping mom off my back. I can't believe you had to put any work into being the favorite. I thought I made it easy for you. Nope. I took a lot to get up on this shining pedestal. You make it look effortless. And you make it hard. It's hard sometimes, watching you do whatever you want. Our parents pin all their expectations for normal on me, even if I don't want normal. Don't worry. I'll let them know you're a freak too. Freak? <laughs> Coming from you? They'll never believe it. Thanks for coming out tonight, Nasser. I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad I got to play LNL with you guys. That was fun. Good, because I am never letting you and Reed hang out ever again. You can't keep us apart, Fang. It's destiny. Well, you're in too deep now. Good luck getting rid of us. I wouldn't have it any other way. Go apologize to Naomi before she kills us both. Naomi, I... What do you want, Fang? From me. What? <sighs> Listen, Naomi, I, I'm... I'm really, really sorry for everything. I can't believe what I said earlier. I'm so sorry. I don't want to be like this with you, ever. All of this stuff, it's, it's just a lot. I feel like I'm drowning in everything, and I barely know how to tread water. And I know that's not an excuse to treat you like shit. I know I've let things fall apart. I mean, I've, I've made things fall apart. And now I'm trying to fix it. And I just don't know how. I've never been the glue before. Or, like, tried to hold things together at this scale. You're much better at this than I am. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It is. Everything is insane right now. I always had a lot to focus on. And this year feels like I've been desperately trying to fill the time with more and more anything to keep from thinking too hard. Am I part of that? When it comes to you, I can't stop thinking too hard. I don't know. What do you need from me? I need to reach the end of something before... I need to know what this is, Fang. Us. If it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I would have survived this year. Even when I didn't know it was you, you kept me grounded. You helped me achieve one of my oldest dreams. I'm done keeping you waiting. Whatever time we have left, I want to spend it with you. I want to be here with you. I want to face it all together. If you still want that. Nasser is going to be insufferable about this. Oh, it's going to be a spectacle. It's... it's a nice night. Yeah. Is that all you got right now? Uh, yeah, um, the rough draft is still coming together. Listen, Trish, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't been a good friend lately, or like, at all. I've been doing whatever I want and ignoring what you want and with everything that's happening with you and Rosa and bug stuff and the future, I think I'm, I'm scared that you just don't want me around anymore and I, I miss you. I haven't gone anywhere. It feels like you have, though. Or that you're about to. Like you're about to disappear if I don't hold on tight. And I think that makes me hold on a little too tight. <clears throat> a little? Okay, a, a lot. But still. Well, you're right. I don't want you around. I need you around, dude. You're my best friend. Whoever I am, whatever I'm doing, I want to be able to share that with you. We don't have to love the same things. We still love each other, right? But you weren't sharing stuff with me, though. You were sharing it with Rosa and leaving the band. What? Dude, if you had gotten your Caldera Fest brainworms out of there for like one second, I. Never mind. Listen, when have I ever not shared stuff with you? You and Reed are constantly telling me that I know too much about arthropods and need to talk less about the mechanics of worm mating. <laughs> okay, fair. But I don't know. It just felt like there wasn't any room for me in your life, the more into it you got. And when you said you wanted out of the band, that felt like it was just the final nail in the coffin. 
I will always have room for you, dumbass. Worms forever. <laughs> Worms forever. Caldera Fest. We'll do it ourselves. We're gonna go out with the show of the century. All of us. The eight members of Worm Drama. Hey. If you guys want to. Uh, Fang? That was incredibly cringe. And I love you. Raging against the meteor. I like it. I am the obvious choice for Hype Man MC. Can't roll the end credits without a closing track, right? Let's melt some faces. And skulls. Brains! Wait! Don't we need, like, a place? Shit! You're right. We need a venue. No Lava Java. Wait a sec. Mr. President. Hold on. One more speech. I... Before this year, I had all these plans. And when my future became a maybe, I held on so hard. Too hard. I'm sorry. I kind of freaked out, and I just... I guess I wanted to say... We know. Who needs a future when all my friends are in the present? Oh, um... One more thing. Um, since we've been inducted into the band, we need to do a pre-show ritual, don't we? Naomi, you worked so hard on that. We can't. It's time to let go. I'm here now, with you. And I can't think of any better tribute for the worm gods of music. I vote yes. I don't think this is a voting type situation? I mean, it does kind of belong to all of us. Or it was supposed to. It does. You did a great job. So, what do you say, Faye? Forty-eight hours to do all this.
Looks like that's the last of him. So, you're really gonna do your own Caldera Fest, huh? We are. I knew you got it. Now is the perfect time for a concert. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Um, LJ. You should come to Caldera Fest. If you want to. I mean, our version of it. Front row, okay. <laughs> cool. Ugh. I hate this! Hey, sounds like everything's totally chill in here. This doesn't concern you. Your literal cry for help just now? I, I just hate all my clothes. All of them? Because that's a lot of hate. All of them. Oh. My God. She told you. So, what's the plan? You gonna kiss Naomi? Out. Out. Whoa. I also wasn't sure what you'd like, so I have two different kinds of juice, and I probably brought way too many snacks. <laughs> Wait, do you like beetle rolls? I know some people are allergic. No, they're great. This is all so great. Okay, good. <sighs> now? So, you don't have to wear it, and it's totally cool if you don't. But we kept talking about your songs, and it just inspired me to make this outfit, but... But I know you probably want to wear your own thing for the show, but just in case. Anyway, I made you an outfit, but like, yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> you made me an outfit. That's the coolest thing I have ever heard. C can I see it? I mean, I mean, um, some of the stitches are crooked. I was trying to finish it in time. Do you like it? <laughs> Naomi, it's... It's amazing. I am absolutely wearing this on stage. Really? <sighs> I'm glad you like it. I really do. It's maybe the nicest gift someone has ever given me. This is nice. It is. I 
guess something good came out of this terrible year. It did. No thanks to the meteor. So, um... Oh, I told my parents about you. You did? They were happy, but got all weird and formal about it. My dad actually used the term paramour. And my mom opened a bottle of sparkling rhubarb wine. Maybe you can meet them sometime. I'd like that. I wish I brought my guitar. <laughs> you know, I think this is the best spot in the whole city. Even better than Lava Java. I don't know. Lava Java is pretty special. Especially with you on stage. <laughs> Thanks. You too. Huh? I meant it was special playing up there. Playing for you. Oh. Oh, our song! We never finished it. Oh, yeah, I, I guess not. Wanna take a stab at it? Sure. We're never gonna go down. We're gonna take a stand, we won't comply. You like it? It's perfect. Hey. Hey. Um, how's it going? You good? Nothing's wrong. Well, actually, no. That's not true. Uh, I, I just got a call from Mom and Dad. Okay. They're still stuck. Everywhere's a no-fly zone, apparently. Something about... Falling debris and keeping the skies clear. Okay. Um, so when will they be back? Um, they don't know. Like, no one knows. Because I guess they might not ever. I don't know. It's bad. So, yeah. Um, I'll be in the living room if you need me. I hope you don't mind that I used your shampoo. Fang? Fang, what's wrong? My parents aren't coming home, and planes aren't flying. And I might never see them again. Wow. I'm so sorry, Fang. Gosh, I fully expected your mom and dad to be at Seafest, like, I don't know, telling us we're too loud or something. Or that my armpits are showing. <laughs> Remember that? I wish I could just melt my brain for today. But I guess all I can do is just focus on the concert. Melt brain. Just for today. Is he okay? I think he's having a moment.
Man. It sucks that the end of the world is so pretty. Right? It's hard to feel like everything's gonna be gone when it looks so beautiful right now. I love you guys. Love you too, dude. You too. I think you should put them in front. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, accessible stuff's always off to the side. Yeah, it sucks. Mm-hmm. Hey, S Stella, w one sec. I gotta pick her up in a bit. You good to get to school? Yeah, Reed's gonna be here soon. Okay, great. Sorry, I know I promised breakfast, but I think... No, uh, Fang. Yeah, I, uh, mm-hmm. I got it. Oh, sorry, yeah, 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 I'm still here. <laughs> oh. My. God! Wait, that's... You You did it! You actually did it! Yeah, I kind of messed up the... Uh, you barely notice. Honestly, this is incredible. I mean, your design is doing all the work. But I guess all the scribbling for L&L paid off. Will you get in the van before the world ends, please? I'm admiring art. Unbelievable. No respect for your craft.
Ready to fight God? Hi! Oh my gosh! You look amazing! I'd be scared of you if we weren't already friends. You're so hot! How are you feeling? Big-ish. Big, big. Yeah, it's packed out there! I mean, that's what we wanted, right? Right. Hey, d did I rope you all into this? Did I make it all about me? My show? Our show. Wish Mom was here. We're streaming this. They'll see it. I, I think I need to call them. Nasser, can you? On it. Mom? Look at you. Mom, not, not now, please. Look what the... Very grown up. Very cool. This is a wonderful thing you are to me. Patricia, hello. Oh, look at you all. Hi. I'm sorry. It's time for the show to start. Right. I have to go out first then. <clears throat> gotta work the crowd. Oh. Um, Mom, Dad, we gotta go. Love you. I love you. Play a good show, okay? <laughs> we'll be here, right here. Okay, here we go. Thing! We each have something for you. For good luck. Thing! For luck. I bestow upon you my most treasured, my most lucky, my most plastic... Gispecho. Oh, Sage. Thank you. I, I, I just, I can't bring this on stage, though. Oh, that's okay. I'll hold it for you. But the luck will be right here if you need it. You're safe with me, Spacho. Wanna see what the cards have in store for you out there? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I knew you'd get that card! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? Yep, I rigged it. Hey, we're taking charge of our own destiny here. I couldn't help it with this one. It's too perfect. The Six of Wands represents, like, a last stand, and a big moment of glory. Harnessing talents for a greater, amazing purpose. That is literally what this concert is. You've really come into your own, Fang. We're so lucky to have seen you grow and be a part of this journey with you. Stella, I... Shh, 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 shh. Just take the card. My turn now. Plus one to charisma. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. Come here, dude. One more for the road. Wait! Ugh, now I'm fully powered up. Hello, Caldera Bay! How are we feeling tonight? 
Welcome to the last concert you'll ever see! I know you're all dying to see worm drama right now, am I right? That got dark! Who's ready for some music? For real though, thanks so much for coming out to our little show. It really means a lot to us. We live in a strange world. But right here, tonight, maybe it's ours. Now, while I have you here, I've prepared some spoken word poetry just fucking with you. I give you word drama!
Thank you. Our next song is about going home.